trying to stop it. Sky Quake Warrior, how are you mate? <sighs> is the uh, audio fixed or is it terrible? Blowy? Oh, that's better. Blowy, how are you, legend? Just going to see if we're live on Twitch as well. I'm trying to multi-stream. So, which is easier said than done, if you know what I mean. All right, so open. Welcome, everyone. Oh, that's the... Uh, try that. Adam, how are you, bud? Oh. Hang on a second, people. That's better. Now we've got more of a sunset. Oh, beautiful. What a nice no, I know. Adam, how are you, mate? <laughs> Sponge, how are you, bud? Good to see you in here, mate. Let me just make sure this is working. All right, so if my, what do you mean go live? I should be live. Hey everyone, welcome. All right, so it is working. <laughs> Excellent, mate, that's good to hear, people. Hey there, String Bean, how are you, mate? That's old news, buddy. Let's just concentrate on today's stream, mate. Eh? So, welcome, everyone. We're back. Uh, this is our playground for tonight. So, what's happening is, uh, Hey, Pappy One, how are you, bud? Uh, Nicholas Markovich, how are you, mate? Brucey, hello, you legend. Thank you to everyone that's here on Twitch and YouTube. Okay, greatly appreciated. Thank you to everyone that's given up their time to tune in. You too, Pappy, welcome, everyone. So, people, um, 
Recently we had a tsunami and with the tsunamis, the last time we had one was it 2004 or 2008? 2004 I think, I had hair then. Yeah, 2004 I think. So look, um, when that last tsunami was on, we had a lot of big fish that came in close to shore. Um, they caught a lot more sharks. Um, they've been catching Spanish mackerel uh, north of here, not too much further north. So this is what we've got. Over here we have a reef. Over there we have a reef. And in the middle we have a gap in the reef. So what we're doing is uh, we're going to be fishing tonight for larger fish and smaller fish. Okay. Jelly615, how are you, lad? Dark Dan, how you going, bud? Peebo. Welcome, everyone. Let me just put this up here. Ben, how are you? Agent Cal Gibbs. Space C, hello, Space C. All the way. Finland's finest, how are you, mate? 2008, Rich, okay. Rich and Leo, how are you, bud? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so... Simon, how are you, mate? Peaceful Pete, how are you? From Finland, Peeba, that's right. Space C as well. Okay, so, um, while I've been gone, what we've done is we've upgraded the stream equipment to the point now that we're able to stream from some quite, oh, I know what that's doing that. We um, upgraded um, some uh, stream equipment. Okay, so basically what's happening is, right, um, we got sponsored by Rode, so we've upgraded our microphones. All right, um, if there's anyone out there that's watching this stream, the new Rode microphones, the lapel microphones, have got the luxury of a double channel. So there's one on the back here. Right, there's one on the front here. Okay, now I can turn in any direction, and you should be able to hear me talk. Not that that's really any great incentive to watch anyway. You too, Space Eve. Old Dorf, how are you, bud? Sly Stealth, Sly Stealth, how are you, bud? People say that I'm the closest thing to a uh, Texan they've ever seen. So, I don't know. I think that's a very big compliment coming from a Texan, and I really appreciate it. Extreme NZ, how are you, bud? I am, mate. Don't worry, buddy. You're going to have to try a lot harder than that to get rid of me. Rich and Leo, yes, mate. Sorry to block out the sunset. Now, I've just got to charge this. Is that charging? Oh, why is that not charging? That's because I plugged one into the phone, the other into here. Okay, just give me a second. Hey, Frankie boy, how are you, bud? What's going on, man? Oh, no, that's not right. Let's go there. Let's go there. Good, so that's charging that now. Noopy, how are you, bud? What's going on? Why are you not charging? Oh dear. You too, Mark Weeder, how are you, bud? Welcome, everyone. Hey, look, thanks very, very much for the uh, uh, support. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better, Rich and Leo. Uh, I've done a couple of 10 kilometer walks in the last. I've done two 10 kilometer walks in three days, so I've dropped 25 pounds. I've just got bad genetics, mate. Whole bunch of goat herders on the mountain, shagging sheep and goats, because goats need love too, with dodgy tickers. And apparently I'm one too. Anyway, let's just embrace what we have for a second, fam. Western Australia has the best sunsets, and I'm biased because I'm from Western Australia. And the reason why we have the best sunsets is because we have our coast facing west. Right, so this is standard for us. Look at this. Look how that evening night glows. Look at it. The silhouette, seagulls flying close to the water. There's no breeze. We've got two awesome, well, one awesome community on two platforms. So... I'm going to show you the new equipment that we've got, Famo, and it's all been purchased to promote 
the quant the quality of the stream, not quantity, what am I bloody saying? Off his head, mate, he's off his head, isn't it? <laughs> Matthew, how are you, bud? Dilly! Good luck with the salmon today. <laughs> Crypto trance! <laughs> Benny Cousins, how are you, bud? Good to see everyone in here, famo. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure out why this is not charging. This is something very, very weird here. Peter Death! How are you, bud? You still got that real Peter or what? Right. That should work. Maybe it's just the way this is going. All right, so what we did... Hey! All righty then. All right, so what we did is we've upgraded our equipment, famo. Let me show you what we've added to the community um, locker, right? So uh, as always, you know me, I'm always kicking over in the mind how to improve the content. One of the best ways to improve the content is to be able to fish at night like it's day. So Alfie, how are you, bud? Excellent, glad to hear it. Benny, I hope so, mate. Look, um, this is the spot where we got the snapper last time. Remember that 50 centimetre snapper we got from the beach? Um, just out of a good casting distance, there's a fairly deep hole here. So there's a point here and a point here. Wherever you go along a beach and you see a big like um, indent in the beach, you know that's deep. So this sticks out <coughs> and um, reef there, reef there. The only headache is if we do hook something, it's probably going to try and take us in the reef. Now, let me show you what we've done. We went out and we bought a generator. Right, now, for those of you that didn't know that I went to, Twitter, to YouTube from the old platform, I've done a really good video on this Powertech MG4508. And Loey, if you can just put, um, <laughs> if you can just put the, if you go hashtag YouTube, no, not hashtag, exclamation mark YouTube, it should come up. All right, Rich and Leo, how are you? Now people, we have Rich and Leo Angling UK, right? So I'd really appreciate everyone from both platforms. Um, I can't remember what I did. Well, we, uh, if everyone from both platforms could go and support Rick and Leo Angling UK on uh, YouTube, they are awesome members of the YouTube fishing community. Right now, the other thing is too, famo. We're back on Twitch, okay, and we're on YouTube now. On Twitch, we're streaming for free. There'll never be any subs, never be any um, cheers, and there'll never be any dono goals, okay? Hey, Jack, how are you, bud? Thanks, Lowy, good on you, mate. So, uh, what we did is we went out, okay, and we invested in technology, fam. Jack, how are you, bud? Lowy, uh, can you please give Jack a shout out? Right, so that's our tripod. This is going to turn 90... No, oh, I didn't remember everything, didn't I? Getting old, fam. I'm forgetting everything. You're welcome, Rich. You're a good guy, mate. I've got a lot of time for you. <laughs> Never winter. How are you, bud? Hey. Hang on a minute. Excuse me for a second. Um, we've also gone out and bought a laptop. Let's go to... Twitch. Just excuse me for a second. Big Red, Big Red Ryan, how are you, bud? What's going on, man? Hey, cold turkey, not yet. Now, tomorrow morning we're going to do the stream about how to survive on Twitch as a viewer and how to get partnered on Twitch, so... Watch the stream tomorrow morning. I should be awake. I'm getting old, fam.
<laughs> Excuse me for a second, Famo. All right. Now, what's the title? Nice one, cold turkey. Well done, mate. I'm glad that Streamlabs finally worked. All right, let's go to the channel. Let's go to... Hey, Wafton, how are you? Because I had a lot of messages from people that were on the community, mate. And, you know... Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Excuse me for a second. How are you, mate? Train spotting, King Gene, how are you? Kelvin, now people, don't be jealous, just embrace it. Right? Don't be jealous, just embrace it. Oh, excellent, Rich, thanks, bud. All right, welcome, everyone. Now, just give me a second. Right, so what we've done is we've invested heavily in technology. So what I've done, is yeah, so I've got the equipment that allows us to stream at night as if it's day. Right. And uh, two, I'd like to do a big shout out to all the mods. Thank you very much for giving up that valuable time in your lives to come out and moderate the stream on both platforms. All right, Famo. So in a minute, I'll show you how this all works. Right. I lost the split ring off here. And please excuse me for ignoring chat. I'll be back in a second, right? We're all about the content and the community on this stream, famo. Right, so, you know. And I'd really appreciated it if all of our Twitch family would go to the YouTube channel and subscribe for free on YouTube, okay? It's different, it costs you to subscribe on Twitch, it doesn't cost you to subscribe on YouTube, okay? Now, here we go, Famo. What I'm gonna do, <coughs> excuse me. Sativa, how are you, buddy? Mikahan, I got a lot of messages, look, people, when I left Twitch, I got a lot of hate, right? Because I was getting written off by a lot of streamers and that sort of stuff. I've been sent screenshots from Snapchats and all sort of stuff. And seriously, I don't have that schoolyard mentality, right? I appreciate the people that did the right thing by me and sent me all the info. I've got that, right? So I'll keep that to myself because I'd like to rise above it. And I'm not interested in gossip. No, fuck. I couldn't give a shit. Okay, the people that know me matter, right? And the people that know me know exactly what I'm about, okay? All right, Aussie Mick, how are you, bud? See you, Sly. Right. Hey, Benny. And look, on yeah, fuck, just rise above it. Man. But we started getting a lot more messages from people. Oh, I haven't seen you on Twitch. No, I don't go to YouTube. And I thought, well, as much as I have an issue with the platform, I thought... I had really turned my back on a lot of good people. Oh, no. So I thought, well, I better do the right thing and uh, come back. Here we are. So, yes, and uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, a lot more streaming. I did have a health scare New Year's Day. I ended up in the hospital with a heart issue. 
But uh, that's all sorted. So clean bill of health for the next time. And we'll still get on with it, don't we? All right. Hey, Lowy. Hey, look. Thank you very much, everyone. 141 viewers on the old platform and 12 on the new platform. Either way, we're all one community. We're one fam. Right. And like I said, if you're on Twitch, please subscribe on YouTube. Okay. All right. Now, we need to get started. Now, now, let me give you a little bit of a lesson in beach fishing. We are in a waxing crescent. Yes, waxing crescent is the phrase. And remember, Famo, when you have this stream, and I don't normally do this, right? <laughs> when you watch this stream, if you watch the stream, and they start having on that stuff, we are here. Right. We're not the first stream to have ever done it, but you know where you've seen it, all right? So just remember, anyway. Right, so we've got a waxing crescent. So we're leading up to the first quarter of the full moon. The new moon was last Monday. New moon is the best time to go fishing, fam. Right, doesn't matter what you do. Fresh water, salt water, beach, whatsoever. Now, hang on. Just... Right. I've just seen a bit of a surface smash of bait fish out there. That usually means tuna or mackie. Hopefully we're in for a night demo. Ooh, that would be lovely. Right. Driller, how are you? Uh, no, it could, I know what it is. Let's try that. I oh, know at least that's not linking up. Great, we've got that now. Excuse me for a second. I just need to get another cable. Clickmeister! Yeah, but it's not that hard, mate. It's glassed off, right? And if you see a slight disturbance in the surface, I can see cray pot floats, everything, mate. All you do is you don't look for fish. You just look for a different ripple in the water. And there was a big set of bait fish getting smashed over here. I don't know whether it was dolphins, tuna, what it was, but anyway. Well, night streamer, one of the biggest myths in streaming is that you need a backpack. From my experience, now remember in streams and in my streams, the opinions I give you are my own and my own only, but backpacks, seriously, for what you get, I would not buy one personally. I got loaned one by Twitch, um, had nothing but headaches with it, and it did cost me quite dearly on quite a few good streams. The main issue is there's no technology in the world that's designed for Australian conditions. Most of the population is Asia, Europe, America and that sort of stuff. Fair enough, the South of uh, America and the North of South America gets hot. But, you know, all a backpack is, right, is a live view that has two modems, uh, like two SIM cards in it. And it has two modems, one for Optus and one for Telstra. That's all it is. And it just flicks through them, figuring out which one's got the best signal. I'm just using a modem and a phone, and if you're into your streaming, right, don't buy a mobile phone until March. The Samsung Galaxy 22 is coming out. It has the new Ryzen technology, which means that mobile phones are now one step closer to becoming cameras. So the Ryzen technology that you have in your laptop computer is now in mobile phones, and that's gonna come out with the Galaxy 22, okay? Hey, Vandal, what's going on? It's a bit skippy. Oh, hang on. Let me just check that this is charging. Right, excellent. All right, Famo, now. This is not how it's going to work, but I'm just going to show you for starters, right?
I'm going to have to fuel me. Oh, hang Prime it, Chindo. You haven't primed it for a while, son. Well, it might be there already. Let's have a look. content in the community fam check this out now what's going to happen is okay see that LED light you must have LED light okay that can run that all night this is your output indicator there's no overload I can still charge my equipment with that see and where I am daylight you can see everything Unfortunately, sorry, you know, I'm getting old. I'm not as marketable as I was. Uh, now, it's a very, very still night. Okay, mate. It's a very still night. There was movement at the station. Audio. Is the audio better? Now what's going to happen is that generator Cash Money Johnson Here he is My barbed wire canoe Terrible at fishing, how are you bud? Welcome everyone Alright, now I need to just shift everything, okay? So let me just get the generator set up out the front Right Now that's a bit stupid, Jim That's your bait box Told you I'm getting old. I wouldn't remember that I've got underwear on if they weren't so soiled and the smell was reaching me. I'm kidding. Let's go. Now, Famo, when you fish on the beach, you need to bring them in. Whether you're in a boat or whether you're on the beach, invest in a burly bucket, fam. Okay? Oh. Uh, it's called a, uh... <laughs> hey, Jason, how are you, bud? Yeah, don't know, was he, Nick? What's going on? All right, let's have a look. So what I did is I made up a little brew of, um, burley. Right, we're doing it large tonight, man. Oh, whoops, good mate. Right. Well, that one's good. Sorry. Oh, yeah. My underwear's got nothing on this. Oh, God. That is good burly. Much like a fine wine. Only smellier. Jason, good to see you, bud. How's the altitude sickness going, big fella? All right. Ta-da! So what's going to happen is, the reason why the audio is checking is because that's on, right? What I'm going to do is just run an extension cord from the Fronten, which is a pigeon German for nothing in particular. I just made it up. Right. So, uh, yes. The burley is going to sit on the edge of the ocean. As the tide comes in about 11, 11.30, we shall have a schnick. Okay? And what it'll do is the waves will lap up on the burley and drag it out to sea. But there's nothing like a little bit of an incentive issue. Yes. So what I'm going to do... Now this is my secret burly mix, right? It's that secret. We did a YouTube video on it. So if you go to the YouTube channel, I'll show you how to make the old secret burly fam. And as you say in Australia, it's a real little beauty, you know? All right. (laughs) 
Charlie. Hello, Mama Crochet. I've still got your crocheted Ozfab. I'm going to be using it in the stream tomorrow. People, if you want to speak and watch everyone's mother on Twitch, watch Crochet 70, please. Turbo <laughs> Mummy, how are you, bud? All right. Gary, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. Just excuse me with the noise. Man, you should see the heat. Not see, but you should feel the heat in this bucket. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's oh, a ripper. Oh. oh, it's one of my better ones. Woo! Gerthy, how are you, mate? Yes, I am. Hey, Quickie Koala, how are you, bud? <laughs> now. Terrible at fishing, how are you, bud? Now, you know it's a good burly when you can taste it. Taste it? I'm not only tasting it, I'm digesting it. Excuse me for a second. I think I felt a little bit of vomit. But no, I'm joking, I'm just hamming it up. Pardon the pun. No hams were killed in the making of that burly, okay? It's just the jokes that suck, all right? And the immortal words of Adam Sandler, the water boy, that's some good quality H2O. Mm. Ah, Sativa, how are ya? Ashleen, how are you, mate? Valerie, how are you, bud? <laughs> All right, now. All right, the tide's already reaching that good. What we're gonna do, uh, excuse me, we're gonna give the tide about half an hour to work. What I am gonna do though now is I'm gonna show a bit of maturity. I'm going to put my headlamp on and not trip over and break my face. Zach, how are you, bud? Big Hexen, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream, bud. The pin-up boy of Twitch, Zach here. How are you, bud? Thanks, Watham. They're a bit, a bit worried there for a while, mate. All right, famo. Now, um, I wonder if that... Can that fit on my tackle box? Let's have a look. No, I'm not hey, Zach, watch tomorrow morning. Okay, uh, watch tomorrow morning, mate. I'm going to give a full rundown on IRL. If you want to get partnered on Twitch as an IRL streamer, watch tomorrow's stream. I'm going to help out everyone. I'm not going to give you all the information, right? I'm going to give you about probably 90% of it. There's a little bit of information that I would like to keep for myself, but um, I'm probably going to be retired from streaming in the next 10 years. I promise everyone that when I do my final stream, okay, um, that I will give everyone all the trade secrets because in my point of view, the more people you have streaming IRL, the better it is for streaming as a whole. And here's an interesting statistic, or one of them, not two. Um, last year in Australia, live streaming was actually viewed more than mainstream television. There's a message in that for everyone. Don't go out and buy a mobile phone 
until March fam. Wait for the Galaxy 22. All right. Oh, there's a sound delay. Uh, Matty, don't worry about that sort of stuff, bud. That's old news, mate. Being partnered on Twitch is not important, fam. All right, I'll give you the rundown tomorrow morning here. Oh, hi. Oh, it's cold there from what I heard. Now, is this going to fit in there? Let's have a look. Just like a dish. Well, I'll be! That is the worst American accent anyone's ever... And then I just turned Irish. Oh, who the fuck is this guy? Um, anybody can do Conor McGregor. Especially Conor McGregor. He's a, he's a champion, that boy. I know a lot of people don't like him, but when you're that good, people don't like you. All right. Now, I can actually put that on this sand because there's no wind. Not really sus, really, girl. All right, now that's because of this. I'll show you in a second. Right, oh, hang on. First things first. First thing, things first. Then. Audio. Just a little bit of a friendly note. When you've got no sand on the oh, sand, Ooh. when you've got no wind on the beach like tonight, you can keep your generator low to the ground. But when it's windy, you must have it elevated at least a foot because otherwise, what will happen is never have the exhaust facing the direction of the wind because it'll fill up the exhaust of the generator. Now, let me just show you a little something, Sam. And now. This is where the magic starts. No, I'm kidding. All right, so let's go back here. I'm just going to set up the generator. I've got a little technique that I use that I can keep myself. And why am I trying to sound Finnish? <clears throat> right. Hang on, fam. We'll turn night into day in a minute. You've got to be careful on the beach in Australia because at night, big insects will see the light and just line you up. And I mean, look at the size of my head. I'd be a sniper's dream. Oh. oh, dear. Oh, no. Well, it was a good idea initially. Yes, Tangles, they call him. Hey, good day. My name's Tangles. Yeah, great, Jim, let's tie as many knots as we can in an extension cord. Why not? Oh, God. No, no, no. Come back. It's all right. That's nice. Man. Really? Really? You can all depend on If there's a way to make things difficult, instead of an easy way, I'll find it. Hey Tim, how are you mate? Yeah, that's right. But, as I said to everyone mate, I had a lot of support from people that were messaging me from Twitch that don't go on YouTube mate. So, chill out buddy. How are you mate? Hey look, I know United are forced, but really...
Rightio! Let's get this over here now. Excuse me. Don't want it to really shine on the water. There we go. Golda, how are you? Bella, how are you? Bricklayer, how are you, bud? <laughs> hey, Aussie Bogan, how are you, mate? <laughs> Vegan cannibal, how are you, mate? Uh, with reference to the boat people, the initial deal was we got it for a year or 200 hours, which we fulfilled. We honoured our end of the agreement and gave the boat back. That's how it works. We've got a new kayak sponsor, right? And um, more about another boat a little bit later on, but we won't talk about that at the moment, okay? <laughs> yeah, we'll score it right. Uh, yeah, Goldar, we'll be doing five kilometer and six kilometer paddles offshore, mate. Now, how's that? Yeah, that's it, mate. Um, the kayak that's coming is going to have outriggers, GPS, echo sounder, outboard. You wait and see. It's going to be worth watching, trust me. All right, Thermo. Now, let's get some rods out. Did I bring the rods? I hope so. Oh, is it? Hey, Santa, how are you, bud? Ha, how are you? Oh. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Right. Let's not worry about that sort of stuff. Let's just concentrate on the stream, right? Okay, I'm not on a... I'm not on a payroll anywhere or anything like that. And like I said, when I came back to the old platform, I had a lot of support from people. And a lot of people said they didn't go onto the new platform. But, you know, and I thought, oh, shit. I do have issues with it still, but I'm streaming for free. I'm not contributing to the beast, okay? So everybody, enjoy the stream. There's not going to be any sound alerts. There's not going to be any, um, you know, there's not going to be any sound alerts. There's not going to be, uh, look. It's all about pure content. Watch the stream, enjoy the stream, and let's rock on, eh? Thanks, Beastie. All right, Golda. Yeah, Mikahan, I'll tell you what, buddy. Just send me a message in Discord, mate, okay? And then we'll chat then. At the moment, I'm streaming, so we're gonna focus on the stream. And the other thing is too, fam, if there's anyone streaming out there, uh, the relationship you have with your community is called a parasocial relationship. It's much like a uh, music artist with their fans, right? So everybody, when they watch you, has like a different um, reaction towards you, okay? So you just have to like work within that, if you know where I'm coming from. So, I'm sorry to hear that he's going through a divorce, mate. Chalky, how are you, bud? Hey, look, people, thank you very, very much. I've got a couple of hundred people watching the stream. Look at that sunset, fam. Is that not magnificent? Or is that not magnificent? Look at it. The low-lying cloud, we've got the moon. Can you see the moon in there? Hey, Princess, how are you? Hey, Husker. Um, 
Iron Chef. Hey, Big T. Yeah, well, PUBG, be patient, mate. Remember, the community's about everyone, pal, so chill out. Mega Gremlin, how are you, bud? Is a bit floppy then. There we are, we've taken to the long handle fan. Didn't let anyone down, Nick. Why did I let anyone down, mate? I messaged everyone to cancel their subs, Nick. I didn't let anyone down, pal. That's a bit over the top, bud. But I'll gladly chat with you about it one day, matey. Certainly do. Phil, how are ya? All right, so our plan is working, right? The uh, water is reaching the burley already, which is good. So what we've got Oh, I can't see the guides because of the uh, handle. Excellent. Real perpendicular. Brilliant! Oh, I've got a good feeling about tonight. Woo! Okay, guys. Now, hang on a second. Let everybody just chill out. Time out. Right, Mick, I can appreciate that, mate. All right. And I thank you for your support. If you want to support the stream, fan, just watch it. That's all you have to do. Just watch it and do me a favour. I only ask for one thing. I don't usually ask for much. Just go over and watch on, and subscribe on YouTube. That's it. Okay, let's just chill out and enjoy it. Hey, PUBG. How are you, mate? Aussie Welsh, what's going on? Caveman AU. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Joe Malley, how are you? And also everyone on the other platform in YouTube, Rich and Leo, Santa Lab, Terrible at Fishing, Valerie, Manzi, hello Manzi. How's that shoulder, Manzi? You okay, mate? All right. Little bit of a weak northwest of fan, brilliant. Hopefully the snapper come in. All right. So on this side, we have our 12 foot horizon rod. I've got a shipload of, no, shipload. I've got a load of them turning up in, I'm thinking March. So if you would like to use the um, same rods that we use on the stream, people, these will be available for sale in a couple of months. And on this side, what I did is I went out, I needed a little 9 foot, 6, 10 foot beach combo. This is my old combo, but a far more advanced one that I would fish with years ago. That's a Shimano 12,000 OC bait runner, which we will also be using in the kayak when we get it, okay? So, let's go. All right, time to make some rigs. Now, Sam, this is the educational side of it. Hey, Mickahan, I'll tell you what the story is, bud, right? And I'll, I've already explained this to everyone, okay? But like I said, I got a lot of messages from people, okay, saying that they didn't go on the new platform and they missed me on Twitch. And I thought, well, I did actually technically turn my back on a lot of people, right? 
and um, so I decided to come back but I'm streaming for free and the best way you can support any streamer is to watch their stream all right so there'll be no subs no cheers no dono goals right it's just going to be pure content and we're about the community and content which we always have been but so look if you're offended I apologize mate but there's nothing sinister involved that's it pal you know Coke. Lols, how are you? It's all right, people. No. Jason, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. Aussie Mix here. <laughs> all right, let's chill out. All right, and people, I don't want anyone to answer on my behalf. Let's just enjoy the stream. So let's just drop the subject right now. Okay, we don't talk about it anymore. Just chill out. I'm going to show you how to rig up for fishing now. Has anyone ever wondered, right? Hey, Daniel, how are you, buddy? Hey, Spidey, how are you? Hey, Virgil, how are those wolves going, mate? You finally offloaded Troora. You've probably been pissed for a week. Okay. One of the best kept secrets in beach fishing at night, okay? Hey, Scott's in his oven. Double Vetched. <laughs> Next chick, Dr. Richard. Say hello to my friend Gigio for me. Where'd the tube go? Damn it. Hey, cheeky buggers. There it is. Alright, famo. Now, what we've got here, are they gonna work or not? Beautiful. Colts, how are ya? Jason, welcome, bud. How you going, mate? Aussie Mick, what's going on? Valerie, how are you, mate? All right. Hang on, why is it this refreshing? Hang on, fam, I've got a bit of lag on here. That's better, the chat's back. Hey, Aussie Welsh, how are you, bud? All right, people, so what I've got here, are they gonna work or not, or they die? All right, so. Are they growing or not? No, they're dead. Man, how old are these? I bought them the other day. Hey, terrible at fishing. How are you, bud? Oh, I'll tell you what, Aussie Welsh. Not dead as attack, fam. Let's see if we can find one that works. Uh. Hey there, my Sandman Rocks. How are you, bud? Uh. How's your night going, mate? There we go. Now, what we've got there, see how that little um, Siloom stick is um, glowing, right? I have got moderators. There should be no links put up in chat anyway. Oh dear. Hang on. Participants. Thank you for that, Sandman Rocks. All right, everything's good. Hey, um, terrible at fishing. Do you stream, bud? Bro, luck, welcome, mate. All right, so see this here? What we've got, we've got a little red silene stick. This is the best way to bring fish to your baits at night, okay? A lot of the old school Mulloway fishers would use them. But in, if this was a newer packet of Siloom sticks, right, you would turn this on about two hours before you went fishing. Oh. Is there a delay on the other platform? That's not good. Hang on, why is that? 
excuse me for a second. Well, that's not working, is it? Hang on a second, Pamo. Just excuse me. Oh, you create custom baits and do live fishing too. Okay. Why is this lagging on... Uh, excuse me for a second. I've just got to sort out this technical issue. It's the same old story. You've got to just try and um, just figure things out, you know? Let's go here. Let's go there. Right. Just excuse me for a second, Sam. Right. So, why is this lagging? You know, you spend the money to be able to uh, stream on both platforms, and then there's all these little glitches that just, you know. Very frustrating. Hang on, excuse me for a second. What is that? <laughs> Thank you, terrible at fishing. Yeah, look, um, I don't know why it's lagging, fam. I'm going to have to go into the setting. Just excuse me for a second. Okay, well, look, um, let's just work through this. All right, I'm going to get one that works. Good. Now this one is the one that worked on. Come on. Marka, how are you bud? Kahuni, how you going bud? Marks, what's going on? Marka, how are you buddy? So... Hey Damien, how are you mate? Alright, well we got one to work. So what you do, you attach this to your main line, right, with a little bit of um, tubing. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let's get a rig done up. We've given that um, plenty of time to work, so now we've got that burly in the water. We're going to start having a cast, okay? Just excuse me for a second. on here for a and then we're away. The other good thing is too, fam, when you are um, using one of those Siloom sticks, Right, what happens is, um, you can see, oh, don't do that, that's the microphone. You can see where the um, uh, rig is in the water. Very important when you're fighting big fish. Because sometimes if you've got your um, rig snagged or whatever, 
around a, um, you know, obstacle that you can't see in the water, you'll have the rod pointing here and you'll see the um, siloom stick going flat out in the water on your right there. I know why that's lagging, because it's set to low latency lag. But I can't adjust it when it's down. Oh, that was a pretty decent cut. Alright, so let's go. Uh, the crabbing season was pretty quiet this summer, Famo. Rightio. back here. All right. So what you do, okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a little pater nice to rig. This is reefy country. So with this reefy country, what we need to do is make sure we have the sinker on the bottom so we still keep the rig. <laughs> Sit, hello, bud. So, with this little siloom stick, fam, what you do... <laughs> Thanks, Ozzy Welsh. I'm very sorry about the delay. I don't know what's going on. Benton, how are you, mate? Welcome. Now, what we're going to do is this. What you do is you put the little stick in the little tube like this, right? Then it shouldn't come out, hopefully. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. So what that does is you put your line through the tube and then you put your silene stick um, through the tube, okay? And what we've got with the LED light, you can see everything fam, okay? And it's also good for safety because I can see what's happening near the water. The big D, how are you bud? Yes, I certainly am now. Sort that. Just excuse me for a second, Fano. Right, let me just get some wine. Yeah, I know, Ozzy Welsh, but you'd like to have it right, you know? We've got good people giving up their time to watch. You know, you would hope that you could get it right. You know, I'm very sorry to the people on YouTube. Please accept my apology. I don't know why there is a lag. I will try and fix it before the next stream, okay? Blue, how are you, bud? Yes. We always have good, good sunsets here. Big D, how you going, mate? Oh, I'm going to show everyone how to do the rig now, okay? Thanks, Valerie. Sorry about that, bud. But, um, yeah, it might be something to do with the computer. Scooty, how are you, bud? Might be something to do with the computer because um, it sort of glitched out a bit. It's stuck, so I refreshed it. Now it's updating. Okay. Oh, thanks, Ozzy Nick. Now, there's some 15 pounds. All right, so what we've got, I'm gonna put that siloom stick at the top of the rig. Right, so now what we're gonna do is, this is a um, damage, haven't had a cast yet, mate. Thanks, Ozzy Mick. 
I'm going to use a little um, cross line swivel there. Okay, these have a braking strain of 77 pound, which is not that much, but it should be enough for what we're fishing for tonight. Okay, what's this one? Yeah, 77 is the biggest I could find. Actually. So, when you're using braid and you go to a swivel, you can always tell someone that either fishes up north or doesn't know really much about um, like making rigs. The more terminal tackle you have in a rig, right, the less sensitive it is to bites, especially when you're using monofilament. So that's why I try and limit it to sort of like one or two swivels, right? So what we'll have is we'll tie our braid to a swivel, have a little bit of uh, fishing line monofilament to the, um, the cross line swivel. The problem that I've got is if you tie the monofilament to that, for some reason the rig always wraps around your main line, okay? Dazed, how are you, mate? Oh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, terrible. And what we're going to do, we're not really going to fish with gangs. What I'm going to do is just have a um, single mustad suicide hook. Okay, oh, awesome, Sid. Snort, how are you, bud? Right, that's good. Maybe I should use one of these. Ah, oh, we're saved, fam. These are my heavy duty cross line swivels, okay? I'm going to put them back and save this for the lighter gear. Uh, that usually works pretty well out in the boat. But on a beach when you fish, when you've got tide coming in and current and all that sort of stuff, you do need to use swivels. Otherwise, when you do finally hook that fish of a lifetime, you don't have enough terminal tackle, the twist in your line will snap it off. Okay. Hey, Aussie Mick. Hey, Christopher, how are you, bud? All right, Miss Miss, I'm going to show everyone everything. Remember, fam, we were the first stream to base our... Um, fishing streams on education right and that's how we normally work okay now good Yeah, terrible at fishing. Can you do me a favour, mate? I appreciate banter and that sort of stuff, but, um, you know, I don't think people will get it, mate, because the English are absolute champs at banter. Great. What have we got here? Oh, yeah, excuse me for a second. Yeah, good, Chris. Train spotting Trev. <laughs> and look, famo, high tide's not for a little while yet, so just enjoy what we've got. Now, what I'm going to do is use snapper leads here. Okay. Yeah, I resemble that remark. Right, let's see what we got here. That's a bit of a pain. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the sun is pretty good. It's actually quite um, dark here, fam. Uh, if I turn the lights off, it would literally be pitch black. Oh, Trevor, how are you, mate? 
Right, now let me just get rid of this. That's right, Christopher. I'm just going to cut one of these cross lines. Trying to adapt. Hey, here we are. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I'll show you the importance of lighting when you do nighttime fishing streams, famo. Check this out. What I'll do is I'll go and uh, pull the cord out and I'll show you exactly how pitch black it is. When you live stream IRL, right, because of the sensitivity of cameras, quite often the camera lenses. Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Garden's well. The camera lenses, right, are better than your eyes. Watch. This is without the LEDs. See the difference? And the other thing is too, uh, famo. No, uh, crocodiles are 30 hours north of us. Right, this is braid. I don't like this braid. I'm saving up to replace it, but we'll worry about that later. One, two, three, four. This is a really basic braid knot. Hey, Soggy, how are you, bud? Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, back through the eye between the braid and the um, uh, swivel, and then this loop that you form. Just wrap it around again. One, two. Mr. Purchase, how are you? Dan. <laughs> Okay. Now, what I've got is that first swivel. So, people, <laughs> German cross. Hey, Saman, how are you, mate? Well, basically, I asked for it, mate. Now. Come on, buggy up. That's the problem with a uh, thick 80 pound line. It's always difficult to tie knots with. This isn't, um, I just use Schneider line, fam. <laughs> the Wanderers, how are you, mate? Let's try that again, shall we? Getting a bit rusty in the old day. This is just an improved clinch knot. So you put the line through the eye of the hook. Right, that's your tag in, that's your main line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lolly, I would like to kayak at night, but if there are a thousand people in the water, in a boat, and we got tipped in the water, guess who'd get eaten first? Because the sharks would look at me and just go, yep, that is maximum return for minimum effort. He is gone. Pass on the condolences to the family. And I mean, Tezza the tiger shark out there is waiting. He could be in that moonlight right now going, go on Jimbo, make the mistake. Go for a swim, I'm feeling rather hungry. I've already eaten Brian.
Jeff, how are you, mate? Yeah, so the short answer is no, and the long answer is hell no. Rightio, fam, so we've got our first bit of 80 pound on. Me, personally, I don't like using the uni knot, I'll tell you why. With the uni knot, the tag end comes out the back. With the improved clinch knot, it's at the front. So the harder you pull on the line, the tighter it goes. So you only need about a foot, and then we're gonna put the, uh... yeah, it's good soggy, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even like dipping my toes in the water at night, Lowy. Yeah. I could do a dropper loop, but I, I want to keep the twist. Hey! Lolly Invasion, how are you, mate? Hey, Rich and Leo, when are you fishing next, bud? Okay, Famo, so what I've got now, right, is I've just got a little section of um, line there. What I'm doing is I'm just bringing my sirloom stick down to the swivel. Okay, see that? And what'll happen is Sunday weather. Okay, mate, I'll keep an eye out for you, Rich. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to use 80-pound main line down to the um, sinker. Then what I'm gonna do is have a couple of false casts without um, hooks on there just to see where the reef is. Right, that's uh, Rocky doing Shakespeare. Uh, Rocky doing Shakespeare. To be or not to be? What was the question? That's Rocky doing Shakespeare. Right. I got a. Hey, Rich and Leo, do you have daylight savings down here? Moon Man, how are you, bud? What I'm going to do here is, this is what I call the insurance knot. <laughs> oh, we got a million jokes on here, Valerie. I've got millions of them. Well, I'm just going to do a little false cast. And see how far this reef is in front of us, all right? Rightio. And the good thing about this is when you're fishing at night is you know where your swivel is so you don't slam your rod tip. Alright, so 30%. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, let's see if there's anything out there. Nah, that's pretty good, fam. Nah, no reef. We've picked the gap. That's good. Now, is there any weed? Let's have a look. Because there was a bit of weed here before, it should have cleared up. Let's have a look. Now, there's a very thin film of kelp on the bottom. What we're going to do is use a shorter leader so that the hook rides about halfway up to try and stay above the kelp. Right. I didn't bring a float with me, damn it. Right, that's about 50%. Right, yeah, we just landed then. Now, 
No, we should be pretty good here, famo. Right, we should be pretty good. Now, at 50%, we haven't hit reef. And look, you can surmise as much as you want, right? You can surmise as much as you want. Until you put a sinker on and have a cast, right, you won't be able to figure out exactly where the structure is. And in the old days, that's exactly how they figured out how deep an area was. They drop a sinker down the side of the boat. Now, I'm going to go at 70%. All right, still going. Oh, just landed. Gotta love braid. All right. No, nah, 70% is good. That's a bit of weed, I think. That's a lot of weed. Rightio. Okay. Nice work, bring it in. Nicely, nicely fed. All right, so what we've done is I've cast here, I know what is there and what isn't there now, okay? Wait, hey, get out of there. Now, what I'm going to do now... <laughs> hey Bamboozled, how are you bud? <laughs> Alright people, now... What we want to do is we now want to have a leader that goes to about here. Right, the closer you have the bait to your hook sorry to your sinker, the easier it is to cast. The closer you have it to this swivel, the more it'll spiral, okay? <coughs> so, what we will do, should I use 80 or 50? No, I'll use 50 pound main. No, I'll use 50 pound leader. Raptor, how are you, bud? <laughs> Thank you, Bam. <clears throat> Is the audio okay? So allow a little bit to tie the knot. So what we've got is we've got 80 pound main line, 55 pound leader. Right, like so. In the water that's going to sit like that. You've got to remember the angle in the water is much different to the one, it's virtually like that, so you don't need it too long anyway. Yes. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you very much for giving up your time to come in and watch. Yeah, thanks, Bam. I'm going to be on for about another six hours. Just checking something.
Oh, okay, mate. Now, what we've got here, as you can see, that's just a very basic single um, hook paternoster rig with a cross line swivel in the middle. Now, the thing is, when you're fishing reefy country like this, if you lose two hooks, you lose two hooks. It becomes expensive after a while, okay? So, let's hope that there's a little snapper out there. This is the uh, mercy stick for the snapper. You let me squid in here or what? Oh, it stinks. What is that? Squid! Ho oh, ho! That's why it stinks. Ooh, it doesn't taste any better, does it? Alright, we're just going to start with the squid head. Remember, never leave rubbish at the beach. People, bait presentation is important. Okay, what you try and do when you do your bait presentation. <laughs> right, so when you do your bait presentation, see how I have the eye and the point of the hook showing? That's a very well presented bait, okay? Radio fam. All right, that's our first first bait of the night. Seventy percent cast directly in front. No sea snakes. Radio just landed. Now with the sinker on the bottom of the rig, what that enables me to do, right? is load that up straight away. Okay. So I've got bottom. Everything's dead straight. Beautiful. There is a bit of weed out there. Now the yellow bucket down here is our burly bucket. So what I did is I made up a burly brew before. Right. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we can probably do with a refill, well spotted. Oh. And we've had a couple of little nibbles, fam. That doesn't help. Now oh, sunlight is the biggest killer of all equipment. Rightio. Hey! That is so warm. What's the old saying? Cold hands, warm heart. Right. So we've already offloaded about four kilos of burley. I'm just going to make a nice little reservoir for it there. Now, let's make another rig. Yeah. It's a ripper. See you, Christopher. Thanks for coming in. RG, welcome. <laughs> oh, is Brother Hooler in here? <laughs> 4L, how are you? Hey. Can one of our mods please give Bamboozled a shout out on YouTube and also Texas Hula, uh, Raptor ATX and uh, Crochet a shout out please. Right, the big rod's out, the burley's working. Oh, That's our first cast, Bam. Little bit of squid. So, 
I'm just going to check. Is that 100 viewers? Beautiful. Wow. No, it's all right, Raptor. You've been very good to me on Twitter. I appreciate it. And Bamboozled Lowy, if you can just cut and paste Bamboozled's channel on there, right in the YouTube, give Bamboozled a shout out too. All right, Bamboo. So, high tide's not for another couple of hours. So, right, I'm just going to keep the tension. Right, that's good. I'm happy with that. What I've done is the straighter your line is in the water, the more chance you've got your bait of just washing around in the current. So that's good. If the rod was dead straight, you know that there's a bow in the line. But the tip is bending down about four to six inches from the top, and it's just pulsing with the water. That's really good. All right, Bamo. Let's get... The bait runner sorted. And what we're going to do on this rig, we're going to fish a double white bait rig. That's my favourite rig to use in the salt water. And remember fam, once again, we weren't the first people to ever live stream fishing. We're not going to be the last. Right. And um, if you do see this elsewhere, you know where you saw it first, eh? Right. Thanks, Lowy. Good on you, mate. <laughs> hey, Godless Aussie. How are you, bud? Right, now. First things first. Excellent. It's a beautiful night, famo. Let's just appreciate what we have. Let's not worry about what we don't have. Hey, Big Bernie, how are you, bud? Not yet, mate, we've had one cast. Don't leave rubbish. Oh, here it is. Mm. Higgity, how are you, bud? All right. Generator sounds like it's going to go in a minute. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of swivels on here. I'm going to do a twin dropper loop rig because I'm going to use a couple of uh, gang hooks.
Right, that's the first dropper there, which is good. That's a good length. Need another one about here. Ah, uh, today's target species. Don't know why that is, bam. I've got to sort out this, um, bot, mate. Anything that bites, really, I'm not that fussy. Right, so we got two dropper loops and we got room for a sinker, lovely. Simple man gaming, how are you, bud? Hang on fam, it's rifling through all my sinkers. That's handy. Oh, that's all right. Bam, I'll sort that out, buddy. Hey, Nomi Cakes. Uh, the reason why I've got tsunami fish in the title, last time there was a tsunami, it brought a lot of big fish in close to shore. We caught a lot of sharks and mulloway and all sorts of stuff in the Southern Ocean. And... With recent times, with the recent one, you know, obviously I'm hoping that's the case again. Right, now... Now, I'm just going to wind this up for a second, hang on. Okay, Fabo. So what we've got on here... Culpable, thank you my friend, how are you bud? Hey Rack, how are you bud? You too mate. Alright, so what we've got here, we've got two dropper loops. On one of these dropper loops I'm going to put a single hook with a bait. JP Earthling, how are you bud? Welcome. And then what we're going to do is, okay, we're going to put a gang on the top of it and use a small white bait. We may lose the stream in a minute, fam, if the uh, generator goes out. Oh, that's where that is. Come on, you little buggers, where are you hiding? Oh, you little pricks. Oh, they're in the other box, which I forgot to bring. Good one, Jim. Well, we're not fishing gang hooks anymore. <laughs> we're using single hooks. Because I... have the memory of a sieve. But, wait one minute. Great. Wowie, thank you, bud. Hey, Holly, how are you? Hey, thanks, pilot, but like I said, mate, you know... Fun, how are ya? <laughs> That's alright. Right. I'll just use a bit of squid. Sorry about that, fam, I forgot my, um... Forgot me bloody trebles. No, gangs, not trebles. Um, not really, mate. That was last year. Um, 
I'm going to explain tomorrow. Right, so everybody turn your notifications on. Okay. Aussie Welsh, how are you, bud? Aussie Welsh has been a big supporter of the community for a long time. All right, mate, I will do. Yeah, I do, but the best time to go fishing for squid is the full moon. Back in the old days, before I got, you know, introduced to bag limits, we'd go out and get 40 or 50 squid quite easily. That's why there's none left, but I was a kid then, so, you know. Oh, nice one. Oh, uh, why is that, mate? Have things not worked out, or...? Hey there, terrible at fishing. Mate, is it just fishing or is it jokes as well, bud? I'm not trying to have a rip at you, you know? All right. Now. Okay. All right, now I don't think bait fish are working. I mean, squid's working. Thank you, Dave. Aussie Welsh. <laughs> Thanks, Colt. All right, Famo. I'm just gonna, oh, I should have done the test first. Just gonna cast out here to the left and just see what's uh, here. All right, let me see if there's any reef here. We should be good though. That is such a smooth cast with this reel. That's lovely. No structure whatsoever. Beautiful. What a lovely night. Righto fam, now what was that? All right, that's lovely. What was that? There was a little bit of a shake then. Sometimes when you're fishing the beach around reef, there's a bit of a shudder on the line. That usually means that there's a fish brushing along the line. Because sometimes they'll swim around a bait, they'll check it out, and then out of nowhere, a switch goes off and they hit it, you know? We're hoping that they're at the switch stage before they, you know, because they'll rub against the line, all sorts of stuff. We've been underwater at Hillary's and seen Trevally swim up to a bait, turn around and hit it with their tail. They just, you know. Now see how the rod turned a bit? It went like that and went back. When I cast, it was here. So it's out here. I shouldn't really be touching that because if there's something brushing against that main line, we could hopefully be in with some action soon. But here's hoping, eh? It's a magnificent night, Bamo. Absolutely magnificent night. You know, there's not a breath of wind. We've got the camera on. Everything's working. It's lovely. Oh, nice one. Kenny, how are you, bud? Wow. Bass, so are you in the UK or America terrible at fishing? Right. Hey! Now! Here we go, fam. I knew I had some gangs somewhere. Why are they jammed in there? All right, we have one set of gangs. Our night just got better. Now remember, when you're fishing from the beach, when you cast out 60, 70, 80, 100 yards, that's, the, that's how far the bait is off the bottom. We're talking literally bumping along the bottom, okay? So I tend to put smaller bait fish on the top hook. I just seem to get better results, you know? 
especially if there's a dirty great big flathead out there. They love them. And I have caught big flathead at night here, but you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? Oh, Oregon. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no, I didn't end up buying the boat. And uh, people, I would really like to thank everyone that's watching on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you very much for giving up your time to come in and watch. Okay, it's greatly appreciated. I don't like how the audio is not working though. I think in future what I'll be doing is I'll be streaming on one platform at a time. Okay. Right, so what we have now is we have our little gang on the top, drop a loop, and we have a single hook. I'll do a close-up of that for you. Come on. Personally, I don't think we're going to see a fish until about 10 o'clock, maybe 11. Hey, the Wanderer, how are you, mate? Welcome. Come and start, compadre. Now, see what we have here? What will happen is, that's what happens in the water. That's why you use swivels. So these will spin around with the current. So if the current's going this way, in the water, what will happen? Your bait will turn and face the current. Okay, if the current's going that way, your bait will turn and face the current like that. And then it'll actually look like a little fish swimming and hopefully something hits it, you know? Now. <laughs> okay. Right. Where's the white bait? There we go. The most popular bait fish we have in Western Australia is a little fish that's called a white bait. White bait. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, the wanderer. Right, so see that? That's actually called a white sprat. The blue sprat is called blue sardine. Ah, uh, on this one, I'm casting six ounces, and on this one, I'm casting six ounces. You don't need, what you do, right, <coughs> is you just, you increase the weight of your sinker to match the conditions. So if, we have a rough night, I'll cast 20 ounces, and that rod can do it. I can cast two 10 ounce sinkers on that all day with 60 pound braid. Let's go with that. Okay, because it's a very light night, in terms of swell and conditions, and that sort of thing, mind you, the tide is starting to come in now. Right, I've just got a six ounce, which is 150 grams. You just, You've got to remember, fishing equipment's a tool, okay? You've got to modify your tools to suit the job at hand. And all we've got to do now is just wait for fish to come on the bite, fam. It's a very simple equation. Patience is a virtue. It should be salmon season soon anyway, so that'll be fun. My little mate. There's my little mate. G'day, mate. Boy, I'm glad I've got that water. Ah, uh, not really. You've still got to worry about undercurrent. 
Wanderer, okay. Yeah, that's right, the last treble goes through the eye. Actually, no, not through the eye. On the white bait and the muleys, you have a little uh, cavity of cartilage between the eye and the nose. You put it through that. If you put it through the eye, it'll make your bait spin. Rightio, fam. Let's see what's out there. My bottom hook is a wide gape hook in a size six. We've caught snapper on these hooks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebait this and show how everybody how to do it properly, okay? So, what I've got here, okay. Oh, you're welcome, Wanderer. So see that, that's a really well presented bait. See how you can only see the eye of the hook, you can't really see the point. If a fish hits that bait, the um, point will emerge, right? So what you do, when you're baiting your white bait on the beach, grab your bottom hook like this, okay? And just gauge where your first point of entry is. Then what you do is you go first one underneath the lateral line. So all fish have a lateral line. It's usually where they change colour. So you go under, then you go over, right? You go under again, right, like that. And what that does is as it straightens when it casts, and then see that last one is through, oh, got through the, oh, just in the cartilage there. What will happen is, when you cast your hooks out, not like that though, Jim, you idiot, right? When you cast your hooks out, what happens is, with the momentum of your cast, your gang hooks will straighten just through the inertia of your cast. If you've got one point underneath the lateral line, the other one over, the under, other one under, and the other one over, what will happen is, as it tensions, it tensions the backbone, you won't lose your bait, okay? Woo, fishy pants, that's me. Fishy pants, they call him. <coughs> Rightio, we're just casting to position. We're not trying to set world records. Rod tip on the beach. That's a beautiful cast. That just landed then. Lordy. Right. We have fantastic conditions tonight, Ben. Okay, let me just check the time. Well, you've got to be technical. Oh, you're welcome, Wanderer. We don't really have too many fish that hit um, the head here. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, Oh, it does wander because you've got to remember, even though they're metal, when they straighten out, it'll cause a flex in your bait. That's time. That's why some people they'll bait they'll bait above the um, lateral line or underneath it, and what'll happen is it'll just rip the flesh out. And bone is harder than flesh, and no pun intended, all right? Oh geez, Cyber Dog, how are you, mate? Right, let's see how this big one's going. Now that's what's happened is the rod straightened. The sink has come back towards the rod. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? That could have been an octopus or anything, fam. All right, so, there's a little bit of kelp out there, but not much. Okay, so our bait's been chewed. Hopefully the little one goes off. 
That could have been an Oki on the end of that. We're fishing close to reef, I've caught him here before. Something like that. You gotta remember two things you need to catch fish are shade and structure. Obviously at night it's permanent shade. But And you've got to remember, squid and octopus love stuff that shines. I've caught more octopus and even a cuttlefish using a silume stick than not using one. Still going, still going, still going, still going, landed. Lord Blair. That's beautiful. Nice work, Ben. Now, let's see how many steps we've done. 16,175. Now, the other thing is too, fam, when you fish, don't have too many rods in the water. I'll just have one big one and one little one and I'll leave them. If you've got a big fish out there that's gonna take your bait, you'll know about it, right? You don't have to kid yourself on that. Even the smaller stuff to a certain extent. But this is nighttime fishing. We've got to give them a chance. And the other thing is too, at night, normally the little one goes off with the small baits. I don't know why, it just happens. <coughs> Swagland King, how are you mate? Welcome. Retired Army, how are you my good man? Now please excuse me for a second, don't think I'm ignoring you. The reason why the sound's a bit choppy is I've got the two like channel uh, microphone. <laughs> right, thank you Swagland King, I appreciate that. Hey, Cookie! You need to have a chat with me, mate. I've got to marry you off, so you buy me a pair of shoes. It's about had enough, Cookie. Nah, good to see you, bud. There's something funny going on, fam. I'll tell you why. I'm using braid. I've, I've wound the line down to put enough tension in it so it's bending at the second guide plus the tip down, right? For some reason, every three or four minutes, it straightens again. That normally means that something's grabbed the bait and moved towards the beach, right? And on this one, this one hasn't moved. So I don't know what's going on. My guess, the last time we had something like this happen, I think we caught seven, maybe eight, no, my apologies. We caught six shovel nose rays in about 10 minutes, remember? They must have come in to spawn, so I just left. I didn't want to like hammer them, you know? High tide is at about 10.30, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go through till about 11.30 and then call it a night. Okay, I personally don't think we'll get a fish for about another 45 minutes. But, now. The last time I turned my back on a rod while I was streaming, it nearly took off into the ocean. Hang on. Oh, come on. Hang on.
Right here, let's catch up on chat. The real jet pilot, hello bud. <laughs> Retro high grade, how are you? No, we gave the boat back as part of our agreement fan. All good. Click my star. Hey Dylan, how are you mate? Nommy Cakes, welcome. Da Sonia and Jet Pilot, hey bud. There's not enough current and water movement to have that much movement. We've got a very true um, swell tonight. Normally the swell comes from the southwest, but we have a weak northwesterly and the swell is actually coming from the west perpendicular to the shore. There is no angle to the waves or anything like that. It's just lapping around nicely. So that's a really good sign. We've got plenty of burly in the water. We just gotta wait. That's all we gotta do, just gotta be patient. Burley's going out, we just gotta wait for fish to turn up, bam, that's it. TKOA a skunked welcome. Thanks, Jet Pilot. Hey, mods. We need to make sure that no one puts. Um... Thank you for that, Lowy. That's a link. Yeah, we don't want any links. I don't know why it's doing that. Ah, uh, no, we don't drink when we're in charge of vehicles, Famo. Whether it's a car or whatever, we don't drink. Ken, how are you, bud? Nah, hide it, Lowy. Don't unhide, hide it. I've got it. Why is it? Can everybody please excuse me for a second? I just have a couple of technical issues just to sort out. You can always tell when a mulloway's taking your bait, there's a massive head shake. So what'll happen is the rod will rock back and forth, back and forth, and then the rod tip will try and hit the water. That's not too tight, which is good. That's a bit loose, which is all right. Let's just leave that there, good. Right, if it's a snapper, it just goes on the long run, okay? Our ambition when we get the kayak this year, fam, is we want to catch a metre long snapper out in the kayak. We're going to go back and pay Brian a visit in the kayak. Now, excuse me for a second. Good Kenny yourself. Just excuse me, fam. I've just got to sort something. There was nothing like that, mate. It actually is retro, apparently. Excuse me, fam, I've just got to sort a few things out. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, Famo.
Probably not. That's better. Right, now we should be good. Now. Yeah. Right, now we should be good now. Lovely. Just excuse me, fam. Thanks, Chili. Just excuse me, fam. I just got to sort something out on the channel. And it's straight out of a phone. I'm going to tell everyone how to stream IRL tomorrow. You don't need a backpack, fam. It's the biggest misconception. Right, that's good. That's good. We should be okay now. That's right. Just excuse me everyone on YouTube, I'm just going to refresh that. I'm very, very sorry for that. Okay, that should be good. All right, excellent. Uh, with drag, what you need to do is you need to just be able to pull out the drag from the reel like that. That's plenty. <laughs> oh yeah, you can have the snow and rain. Right. Thank you, Sir Valiant. I would really appreciate it if everybody followed on Twitter, fam. All right. Nice one. Uh, no, that's how they're designed. All the tension from a reel with the line goes through the line roller. That's why, before you go fishing, Every single time before you go fishing, take your line roller apart, use some uh, food grade uh, grease, put it back together because that's where all the tension is in your line. If your line roller is jammed, it'll cut your line like that. Now, everyone, this is what you don't see on a lot of channels. This is the real time stuff, right? A lot of times you'll fish for hours on end just to get that one fish. So, uh, look at that moon in the distance. Look at that moon, that eerie glow. I think next time we fish, we'll go a bit further up and fish closer to the reef. The reason why I fished here is if we do have the luxury of hooking something big, it's got an equidistant between the two reefs. Because previously when I fished here and I've hooked for something, it's just gone straight for the reef and snapped me off. At least with this, I should be able to close up the drag and bring it in at an angle. And it should nearly like hit the reef but not get there, you know? Now, I'm just hearing that generator starting to balk a bit. So if that goes out, I'm going to fill it up with petrol again and start it, okay? That's right. All right. 
Yes, um... So we've had second cast with the big rod, our first cast with the small rod. That's right. Look at the moisture coming off the esky. Oh, it's working well. Thank you for everyone for giving up your time to come in and watch. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Excuse me for a second, I've just got to check conditions. Rich and Leo, welcome back. That's a Penn 10500 V. This is a Shimano Bait Runner 12000 OC. We're using pink line for breast cancer awareness, fam. Okay? So. Hmm. There's something out there. One of the best virtues you can learn is patience from fishing, Famo. All right. Thanks, Cookie. Oh, we have some of the best beaches in the world here. Okay, but I'm biased because I'm from here. I reckon another half hour we should get our first bite, Famo. Yeah, that was the agreement the whole time. Rich and Leo, did you say Sunday? Uh, sober and Western Australia. Oh, we're on! We're on! We're on! Come on! Oh no! Get out of there! Oh, get out of there! Oh, oh, oh you bastard! Oh. Told you it happened. Right, I'm going to back the drag off and see if it swims out from the reef, bam. Okay, I'm going to open the bail arm and hopefully that line goes out. Oh, it's just starting to straighten. Come on. See that line straighten? Look, see how it's peeling off there? Come on, the first one was away. Come on. Make your mind up. Straight for the reef. I 
I don't think that's coming out. Told you that Siloom sticks work, didn't I? Clean as a whistle, fam. Woo wee! Hey, Rich and Leo. <laughs> yes, fish on the reef. Right, so what I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to cast at about 50%, not 70, to stay away from that reef. Now, let me show you, let me show you how to present a squid. With squid, where the tube is, cut the little steering vane off at the back, right? What you try and do, just scrape the skin off, okay? I had this shown to me by a South African angler that was the state champion angler that I taught how to fly fish. Okay, so scrape all the skin off like that. Get it out of there. Okay. Now, up through the tube, open it. That's all the squid intestines and that in their food chamber. <sighs> Such a disappointment. I was so hoping to get it. So now out of it, I can get about six baits, right? So here, right? So what I've got there is I can do three baits longitudinally, right? <laughs> Something like that, Rich. Always have a little bit of wood, fam, to cut your bait on. Never use your bait board to cut bait, all right? Eventually you'll cut through the plastic to the foam. All right, so what I managed to do is I managed to get eight beautiful baits out of that piece of squid. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double up with two on the one hook. I've wound that on the hook three times. Right. All my clothes are falling off, fam, because I've lost weight. And there's more to come. I'm just going to go out here at an angle. Yeah, that'll do, thanks. Cannot believe that. That's better. That's better. That's just buried in the sand. Good. Right here, let's see what this one's doing. There you go, Famo. We've caught an absolutely minute stingray. Okay? Um, that was on the white bait. Let me just let this go before it harms itself. Sorry, buddy. 
for four or so you on there, but you know. There you go, mate. Down. Get in there, son. All right, off it goes. See, bud? Tell him he's a bit ugly, but he's got a good heart. <sighs> now, for those of you out there, that was a little stingray on the top hook. I told you it worked. Um, there's stingray out here that are five feet across the wingspan, fam. I don't fish for them because stingrays are very important for the uh, ecology of waterways. Okay, and that could well have been mama stingray just hovering on the bottom, you know. Something like that. <laughs> That's right, Rich. Respect! <laughs> I had an uncle that used to hammer me when I was a kid. Right? He used to grab my arm, wrench it behind my back, and he used to go, what's the word? What's the word? And I'd go, respect, respect, you know? So I went to Perth and started boxing, and I started powerlifting, and I went from... I don't know, 100 kilos to about 120 of muscle. And I casually walked into the shed one day, <laughs> grabbed his arm, <laughs> wrenched it behind his back, and I said, what's the word? He goes, respect. I went, good, now spell it. Good times. That's what makes you strong with character. Someone that just constantly batters you. <laughs> oh, that's a bite straight away, come on. That was a bite straight away, fam. Felt like a little herring, come on. That was a bite straight away, the fish are on. Let's have a look. Could have even been a whiting, fam, eh? Rightio, no bites means no bait. Rightio, that one on the right has slackened off a bit. Two very good bites then, the tide's just starting to come in, here it comes. Yep, smack. Bloody hell, let's go again. I'm going to use the same baits even though they've been belted. And see how that white bait stayed on? That's because we've done that trick either side of the backbone. Come on. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's not very big. That one's going to go off in a minute. That line keeps slapping. Yeah, see? There's that bite. Hang on. Come on. No, that's a bite. Come on. The fish are coming in, Fab. Just excuse me for a second for ignoring chat, but we're on a bite in a minute. I think I need to cast a little bit further out to get closer to that reef. Let's just bring this in. All right, nice work. Yep. 
and as suspected, they hit the white bait and they just tease the squid a bit. I have got some herring in the esky. Right, as soon as we get our first decent bite on that, I'm gonna swap over to some herring strip baits. West Australian herring are the best bait to use here, fam. You will catch everything on them, as we've proven time and time again on our streams. Now, my call for that fish was the West Australian Silver Trevally, okay? So just give me a second, and I'll see if I can make one materialise. I don't mind the old Trevally, I think they're a nice tasting fish. We let most of our fish go, but I do keep one every now and then. I think this is a bit closer to the reef on the left hand side, Ben, hang on. Yeah, I think that's a Trevor, judging by the bite. So with the bait runner, you've got a little lever at the back. They're the only reel on the market that has two drags. So when you hit the lever on the back, it disengages the front drag and engages the rear drag. Okay? Sorry about that. Spud King, how are you, mate? Hen Rules. Bat Wolf, how are you, bud? Thank you, Crochet. <laughs> All right, we should have. Thank you, Raptor, you have a good one. Rich and Leo and Spud King, how are you? <laughs> uh. Now remember, fam, if you're gonna let fish go, no more than 10 or 15 seconds out of the water, please. Even that little stingray that still swam off, I was not happy with that. What happens is the longer you fight a fish, right, the um, more lactic acid builds up in its muscles and carbon dioxide builds up in the blood. And you know, they'll fight those big Queensland groper that you see on the social media. And then they'll let it go and think, oh, it's fine. It's not fine. It usually swims off and gets belted by a shark. Right, I just get fed up with it. But anyway, that's just me. Right. We did have a couple of little bites there. That's good. <laughs> it's most of Australia. Good hen rules yourself. Neff, how are you, bud? Hey, Spud King, how are you? Bud King. Don't put your name in chat. All right. It's Bud King. <sighs> Big V used to grow for Spud King. He had the t-shirt before he died. All right, excellent. So Streamlabs is now working.
Oh yeah, it's just years of mistakes. The difference between an expert, come on. Yes, come on. Right, fish are starting to come in, Famo. Right, so we need to make sure we're baited up. I'm gonna start using herring now because uh, the squid doesn't seem to be doing it. Yep. The squid's good, but we're gonna go to herring in a minute. That's okay. So. Where's me old mate, the head is there. Excuse me for a second, fam. That's the teaser. Right. We're going to go to a West Australian herring now. Just enough to keep it interested. Now remember, when you bait this, under one side of the um, backbone, over the other side. Normally if they come in and check the squid out like that and don't do much, they want fish baits. Snapper love herring is bait. If you're ever out in the boat, fresh snapper. Sorry, snapper love fresh herring is bait. Right. Stay there. One of the best baits for um, West Australian Jewfish is Skipjack Trevally. And we've got Jewfish out here in nine metres of water <coughs> with a herring we caught, remember? And I caught it, I said, I'm gonna turn this into a Jewfish, and sure enough, I even thought it was a snapper though, you know? Right, now. Baits are still on there because we baited it properly. I think I know Spud King. I think Spud King's initials are CP. <laughs> and if it is the initial CP, double wretched. Get the bash, how are you, mate? Um, goat, with a comment like that, obviously you don't really have a grasp of the art of courtship. Okay? Let's leave it at that, son. I'll give you a few tips one day and improve your strike rate. Right, that one's just been hit. That one's just been hit, come on. All right, so they're chasing fish baits, they're not really chasing the squid. We're gonna put a strip bait on that in a second and we're not gonna, anyway, we'll figure it out. That one's been hit. Right, I'm just gonna leave that. Good, all right, so we figured it out. Excellent. Ha, ha, ha. 
Hey, Star Co Coyote Espada, how are you, bud? No, I'm uh, just fishing Western Australia. Anywhere, any beach in Western Australia, fam. I'll give you a tip, and I'll be specific. It's the Indian Ocean. Don't say, I don't tell you anything. Rightio, good, come on, go, go, go. Rightio, fam, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Uh, don't you dare let go of me. Fish on, famo. Told you herring works. Hey, hey. A little western wirra. Told you herring works, fam. All right. Don't you? All right. So all the little fish are coming out of their hiding spots now. That a little western weir. Back it goes. See you, mate. Yes. All right. So. We tried squid on the big rig. We put white bait and squid on this rig. The white bait was getting hit. So I swapped to the herring and we've got our fish. So if there's a weirer out there, there's a, a napper out there. Alrighty then. Ripping off a line blatantly from Jim Carrey, but anyway. Now, let me show you. <laughs> The wood, how are you? <laughs> hey, Welshie, hey, spider. Now, watch this bait. I'm just gonna cut in behind the head there, and I'm just gonna cut in here, like so. Right, that's all you need to catch a fish out there. Right. Now, let me tell you something, okay? Famo, when you go fishing, don't get caught in the trap of going, oh, I'm going to target this fish. Just go fishing. Enjoy your environment, okay? Enjoy your surroundings. Chill out. And just use one rig that can catch a variety of species. Now, this has no backbone in it. What I'm going to do, right, I'm going to put the hook to come out on the flesh side, right? Like so. Now, that is a nicely presented bait. The point is showing the bend and you can't really see the eye because I left the um, squid on there, okay? What was that? Right. Oh, I thought it was the lion, it's this giant insect. Look, calm down, it's all right. You don't need to shape up. Even the insects try and kill in Australia. Hello, Zafita. How are you, stranger? Right, let's go again. I'm thinking that if I cast a bit more to the right, like last time, I get a fish. Rod tip on the sand. I just saw it mouthing the bait. And when I saw it mouthing the bait, right, I went, hello, we're in here. And when I hooked it, I hooked it in the roof of the mouth. Look at the size of this moth, fam. Come here. Hey, hey. Look at the size of this moth. What a belter. Hey. Hey, Fastback, how are you? <laughs> Rightio. No need to shape up. Just calm down. It's all right.
Right. Right. So we got a little stinger. And we also got a um, little Wirra. Wirra are a nice fish. I don't need them. Hey, what's that in the water there? I just saw a big flash in the water, fam. And no, there was no fish with a trench coat going like that. Calm down, you lot. Seriously, you're getting poisoned. I'll tell ya. Carpal was like, oh, flash. No, Carpal. Now, see how the white bait's getting hit and the squid isn't? But if there is a fish out there that likes the old squid, you've still got to have it on there, fam. When you go fishing, use a variety of baits because you never really know what's going to turn up, you know? You never know what's going to turn up. And look, what I'm going to do, the tides are changing in the next couple of weeks. I've got to figure out what, which night it is, but in the next couple of weeks, there's a really good night to fish the Bustleton Jetty. Right, that's when they normally get their snapper and their um, like sambos at night. So I'll take the hand line out there, I'll take the community. Right, and we'll give it what for. So, as you can see, fam, we've used the burly. Now, when you're casting your fishing rod, get your rod tip on the sand. Having your rod horizontal to the sand will cost you 40% distance. Wait. And also, not opening your bail arm or casting and stopping and the bail arm clicking over costs you 100% of your distance. <laughs> uh... Well, he's funny, but he can't fish for shit. All right, the tide's starting to come in. We might have to shift the ute in a second. X-ray specialist punk, how are you, bud? James Boag, how are you bud? That Tasmanian beer will kill you son. <clears throat> I'm just going to dig a channel across here, right, in case we get any water up near the ute. Because what will happen is, right, it will just take the water out. Okay? I'm like that thing at the show. Uh. Ben? <laughs> oh, I'm an adult. Trust me, I'm an adult. But see what I mean? We bought a new rod and reel, generator lights. You should see the advancements we've made in streaming equipment, fam. <laughs> Thanks, James. People, can I ask a favour? Can everybody, please, right, do me a favour. I don't ask for much. Please go and follow on all the other socials, please. All right, please click on those links. Go and subscribe for free on YouTube, Facebook, everywhere. Five degrees Celsius. Ooh, that's freezing. Mate, here, it's about 35 at night. Something's looking at this one again. And you've got to remember too, Famo, we're fishing a beach that has a high concentration of people that fish it, so to actually get a fish is doing well.
you know what's going to happen, don't you? Remember that night we were um, streaming in um, a local river down south? And the hand line and both rods went off. Really? Three weeks, no fish. The big rod goes off the hand line with the sting. Oh. Doesn't happen with Lotto, does it? No, no, never happens with Lotto. Thanks, Aussie Welsh. Hey, Fastback. <laughs> Thank you, Dust on you. I really appreciate that, fam. We're just trying to build up all our social uh, media platforms. And the good thing about that is what you can do is um, I'll explain tomorrow when I do this stream. I should be awake. Thank you very, very much. We've just hit 1,830 subscribers on the other platform. I thank you greatly, fam. That is really good of you. Okay. Uh, look, people, you know, one thing I've learned about society is as time comes, like, as, as time goes on, it comes with a price, right? So, the more technologically advanced we are as a society, the busier we are, the more that we're getting thrown at us. And compared to, say, 30, 40 years ago, you forget how to relax. You know, this is relaxing. Fair enough, I'm running around with a super sweat and all the rest of it, but that's because I enjoy doing it, you know? And I mean, yeah, we just got, just going for a fish. We might not catch anything big tonight. That's not what it's about. We're on the beach. We're entertaining everyone. We're having a really good time. You know, there's no rubbish or anything like that. No silly noises, no nothing, just pure content. Clean content, it's free to watch. Right, and by watching, you're supporting. Thank you very much. Okay? That's right. You know, and what we're doing, we've got a beautiful beach, we've got the lights, the jennies at the front, not to affect the audio, we've got the speakers working. Mind you, they are starting to get a bit flat, but we've probably got another two hours of those. It's 10 o'clock, it's all good. Excuse me for a second. No, I'm not going to open that. Oh, that's exactly right, mate. And all we got to do is just chill out and enjoy what we have. You know? But um, now that I've got a clean bill of health, fam, we are going to be doing a different stream each day. And I just need to figure out how to go about it. I've got three monitors at home now. So I can put up the stream and have the chat, but I'll figure it out. G'day Wolfram, how are you mate?
Who's ringing me at this time? Really? Ah, oh, telemarketers. Wind off a bit, but that's all right, we'll wait for him. <laughs> Ellie, how are you, mate? Um, look, I fished uh, most beaches from um, Ocean Reef, actually, no, as far north as um, you know, the Alchemos. I've also fished um, Dewar's Reef. Uh, Lancelin and as far south as you know Coburn when I was in Perth living in Perth I fished all the beaches along there you know one of my favorite fishing spots was Trig so yeah all good Hmm, strange. Don't know what's going on there, Sam. Oh, it is fantastic. That one's about to go off, Bam. Go on. Um, people, location is the least important thing on any stream, so don't ask it, okay? We're just fishing a beach that could be anywhere on the Indian Ocean side of WA. All these techniques work on all beaches in Western Australia. Some of our streams, people have watched in Germany and used our techniques and knots and rigs to catch pike and that sort of stuff. Okay, so, you know, the good thing about fishing is it's universal, Sam. Alright, one knot on this stream could be, um, you know, something that you haven't seen that you use that improves your fishing. That's how we work here. I can't run around at a gymnasium or, you know, on the running machine or riding the bike. Mind you, put a fishing rod in my hand, walk all day. 10, 20 k's, no dramas, best. I'm onto it. Over logs, under logs, you name it, I'm doing it, yeah? Hey there, Spud King. 
The reels that I'm using, that's a 10,500 V pen, um, sponsored by the community, which I thank you for greatly. And that one there is a 12,000 bait runner OC. So, uh, Hmm. About another half hour, I think, Fairmo. <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that. Arr! <laughs> oh, dear. So bait's gone. Gone! Righty, I'm just going to bait this now. All right, they just landed. All right, let's hold this little one and see if we get a bite, eh? Come on. Just going to ignore chat for a second, so just excuse me. Now, famo, one thing people do, right, when they're getting a bite, the reason why these rod holders are slightly angled forward is if you're getting a bite, like this, right, what you want to do is you want to reach forward with the rod. You don't want to put any tension on it until you're ready to set the hook, you know? I don't think we're going to have too much of Oh, come on. Here it comes. Come on. Right. What was that? was a very strange bite. Hang on, Famo. It felt like something was trying to mouth one of the baits. Or it could have been a wing hitting it. Let's have a look.
Here we go. Oh, thanks, Fastback. Uh, I've only ever fished the pipeline at Swanbourne, mate. And uh, obviously, you know, <laughs> got to watch your back cast. So. Just going to see if this bait's still on this big one. That felt like something took the bait under the reef there. Wow! Bait's gone. The humble herring. The best bait out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate the head to the ocean and throw it out to the universe for all the cosmic types out there. Cool. Beautiful. I was going to use a WA beach wire, but I don't need to. Still going, still going, just landed. Oh, good work. That's what we need. <laughs> no, you don't, mate. Thanks, Lowy. Thanks for giving up your time to come in and mod, mate. Culpable if you could take over on YouTube as well as uh, here, I'd appreciate it. No, you don't need fluoro line for night fishing, mate. Yeah, that's a bit of a myth. All right, I haven't used fluoro line for night fishing for years. I mean, I've got a little Siloam stick on there, but that doesn't really make, mean much, you know. Thanks, Lowy. Just going to try and get this last bit of charge into my computer. No, no eels at all, mate. Only out in the boat we get the odd noise. That's very strange. Very strange. Great, how are you, bud? Hey, that's better. That's interesting. You too, Grade. Welcome, bud. How are you, sir? Citizen Unknown? Welcome, bud. Mate, don't spare me, mate. It's very tacky, bud. All right? If you're going to come into the community, just do the right thing.
I don't think we're going to have much of a tide tonight, fam. But it's not that far off, though. Look, my understanding is if it goes quiet, like we've got a couple of fish before, there might be a large fish swimming out there and all the little fish have gone, nah, I don't want to be dinner, boom, you know? I'm hoping that's what's happened. Spud wagon. Oh, you need to have a good headlamp, don't you? Thank you very much to our 13 viewers on YouTube. Thank you very much to the 250 viewers on the old platform. I really appreciate you giving up your time to come in. If I could ask a big favour, if everybody could just like the uh, stream on YouTube, please. Because with the uh, YouTube algorithm, the more interaction you have with uh, likes and that sort of stuff, the more you get recognised. All right, patience is a good thing. Yeah, well, that's a thing. That's why the... Um, the generator solves all those problems, mate, but rock fishing is a totally different beast. Rock fishing is a totally different beast. You don't, I don't like rock fishing at night, especially of those old black point. We have white point and black point down south. Uh, white point is basically uh, a beach. Black point is just the really um, strong igneous rock from an old volcano straight out in the open. And um, it's all reef fishing, unbelievable. Okay, mate. Now, is that charged? Oh, sugar. Not too much charge in there. Now. Oh, is it all toad fish, is it? That's not good. Are you in WA salty wheat fix or? Adrian Schindler, how are you mate? Oh, he got COVID, please be careful. Uh, which rock fish are you referring to, Fastback? Queensland, oh yeah, we get the big, big northern, uh, you get the big northern um, toad fish up there. We call them the Norwest blowfish here. They grow about four feet long. They can bite through tinnos, you know. Uh, fast back, I don't know which rock fish you're referring to. Hey there, Palor. How are you, bud? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've caught a... Uh, I've caught a Northwest blowfish at the Bustles and Jetty that was three feet long. It was huge. It was like that.
Now everyone, can you just please excuse me? I've just got to go and put some fuel in the generator. We're just going to have a little break in transmission for a second, okay? But what I might do, see if I do that, Murphy's Law, right? Most people say Murphy was a poet. I say Murphy was a prick, okay? Um, I'm going to reel those lines in before I do that. Because knowing my luck, I'll turn the light out, fill the generator, turn it on, and two rods are going to be launching into the ocean like javelins, you know? Hey there, Slim Jim. How are you, mate? That'll meet me, hopefully, in four months. Now I'm just not so fat, Jim. Bring this in for now. All right, we have the uh, white bait hit. So all the fish tonight are chasing fish baits. Interesting. What happened there? Bait gone! Little buggers. Alright. Just gonna go and fill up the generator in a couple of minutes, okay? Ah, uh, Pallor, we gave that back as part of our... Oh, it's just muted, Adrian. Should be back now.
and we're live! Right. I did very well then. Not one drop of fuel on my fingers because if I did that, the fishing session is over. Now fam, we've had a knot tied in our rig. There's one fish that does that, and that's the flathead. So my guess is there's a decent sized flathead out there that tried to take the bait before and had obviously been to scouts. Let me just get another piece of herring. Surely not. Hey, to all our American viewers out there, is that a sand flea? Hey, Jason, how are you, bud? Capone, Wolfie, is that a sand flea? The same ones that you get in the States? We've gotten one Wirra. And uh, a little spadey stingray, which I don't like catching, but I can't determine what bites. Locked and loaded. Oh, really? Nice one. Oh, did it? Hang on, I bet we've got a flat. Thank you. 
this and if you ever ask. I, I don't know, Ravi. I don't know whether, I don't know what I'm going to catch. I could probably catch cold. And if we do, so be it. At least we caught something. Ravi, I could fish with, you know, really big bloody baits and all that sort of stuff and hook into a shark, but I'm not about that. I prefer to leave them alone. You know? I mean, if we get a gummy shark, I'll probably eat that, but that's the only one that I'll keep. Other than that, not really interested, you know? I'm hoping we get a decent-sized snapper or something like that. much for, um, oh, is it? No, when they flash their light, it means that they're working. Hang on, let's have a look. Right, that's better. Good. Is that better? What about that? Yes, now we have it. I think. Hey. Hey, that's better. Yeah, I think that's. Ah, I've got the wrong one in. Hang on. Maybe I should do this. Sandra, how are you, stranger? What's going on? Now, is that better? Yes, now we're talking. <coughs> mm. Don't eat the insects. <laughs> Hey Todd, how are you mate? What about that? What about that? Ooh. Uh I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow morning, ball fight, so tune in for that, bud. Thank you everyone. <laughs> Yeah, something like that, Wanderer. <laughs> Thanks, Kane Cast. How are you, mate? Dragon, how are you, bud? Thank you, Rich and Leo, the Wanderer. Oh, stonefish. Yeah, stonefish are, mate. You tread on a stonefish, buddy, it's over. I think with stonefish, one thing that they do in Australia is they put your foot in warm water and somehow it seems to get the um, venom out. I don't know whether that's true. And to be quite frank with you, I don't really want to find out. Oh, it's 20 to 11, Sam.
That's nice. It's at two, Wanderer. Oh. I'm terrible at fishing. If you go to Point Blank's channel, Thank you, Colt. Yeah, that's exactly right. We're all about the community and the content, man. Oh, come on. Go again. Uh, it's the fourth of the second, Leo, and it's 10.42, so you're eight hours behind. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so there's a microphone on the back here, and there's a microphone on the front. It's the new Rode lapel microphone. So basically what that means is, it doesn't matter which way I look, the original lapel microphone had a single channel receiver. This one has a dual channel receiver that turns it into one like track. Salmon start fam, we're gonna do a lot of brim fishing this year. The reason why I don't keep black brim is black brim are a very slow growing fish. They get to about 16 to 18 centimeters quite quickly. In the Swan Rivers, it's about three to three and a half years. And in the um, like Northern Up or Warpole Inlet, it's about five years. But after that, they take a very long time to grow. So, I think the state record's 2.8 kilos or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. But that fish would be over 35 years old. That's why we don't keep brim, okay? And there's a lot of scientific stuff out there at the moment. But we will be doing a lot of brim fishing in the winter this year. We're going to do a lot more freshwater fishing. So, please, all I'm asking everyone, I don't ask for much, right? is can everybody please? Hey, good lads yourself. No, they're all active. Okay, exclamation mark support. Please click on all the social links, follow on Twitter. Please subscribe for free on YouTube, okay? And also go to our Facebook page as well, okay, fam? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Something like that. Down in the valleys! <laughs> oh, well, I definitely don't have hair to cover the microphone, do I? Oh, that's right, I've got to have that face showing. So what's happening is this one's folding over. Right. We'll give it about another 45 minutes, fam. And then we'll probably call it a night. It's just good to be back streaming again, you know. I've had um, nearly five weeks off. So.
No, that is not vodka. It is not gin. That is water. H2O. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start burling up in a minute. Right. Going to start putting out some of the old bait that we have in the bait box and see if we can't get a snapper or a mulloway to come in. Now that's very interesting after getting hammered before. Those baits haven't been touched. Or right, I'm going to do a slightly longer cast, Famo. No, that's not reef, that's good. If I was in the Southern Ocean, there's a beach down south called Warren Beach. Warren Beach is the only spot that we catch salmon at night for some reason. You don't get it at Ugarup, but you do at the Warren, you know? There's no scotch in this water either, okay? Yeah, you're very lucky on the East Coast. Hey Kanga, how are you bud? We've been going for three and a half hours. Oh, that's old news from last year Kanga, don't worry about that. I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow morning. I'm thinking I'll be able to get up early enough. Yeah, most of my formative years was spent fishing the Southern Ocean. Uh, I had a really good mate of mine in the country, Pat, who is an absolute local legend and the best fisherman I've ever seen. He's forgotten about fishing what most people know. And um, the Southern Ocean's a totally different beast, excuse me, to the Indian Ocean. Southern Ocean, much colder water, deeper in closer okay so you go out five nautical miles here you're in about 15 meters of water five nautical miles in the southern ocean and you're in over a hundred oh it's beautiful right and um yes so we're fine tuning in the indian ocean to get ready for the southern ocean fam get all the techniques right get all our baits and then we're going to hit it hard. Whoa. Bite's gone. Siloom stick is glowing perfectly. So I'm just going to have a little breather for a second. Oh, that's right, Jason. Um, Rich and Leo, the probability of that from the shore is probably zero. In a boat, it's much easier. Makes two of us, Kanga. <laughs> there 
there's that moth on steroids again. Gonna put a little bit bigger bait on and see how we go. And no master baiter jokes, okay? It's a very, this would have been a perfect night for a night fish in the boat fam. In fact, before we gave the boat back, I think we did a night fish in February. I'll check the VOD. These are the hard yards we've got to put in. All right. View fishing as a reward for effort, Sammo. Warrnambool, Greyhound Territory. Hey Pablo, how are you buddy? Hola amigo. Yeah, just a couple of fish mate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that is, was he Welsh? They let in the other links to me, I don't know what it is, I have to look at it. Easiest way I find to catch Australian salmon is with either live herring or what you do is you put a float down to a swivel and have a minimum of one metre of line with a muley on gangs and you can cast it out and use it like a lure. And they just love chasing bait fish to the shore. It's their natural instinct, you know. I think this beach fish is better during the day, personally, but you can only fish the high tide, you know? Oh, come on. What the hell is that? Oh, did you? Graham bait. Sorry about that, Welshie. Thanks, Bricklayer. Hey, you try to rough me up, sunshine. Look at the size of this moth fan. Bit of a monster, isn't it? Look at that. Hey, don't knock the car over. Come here. All oh, right, so there's a mating pair. That thing's about... I'd say a good two and a half inches long. And when it sees a light, light to a moth is like a curry to a piss head at four in the morning. Oh, hang on. Right, should be okay. No, that wasn't the mods, that was me. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> stramming. That's those rather large hands of mine again. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm like Tim Brooke Taylor from the goodies, remember? Get it right! Thank you, Cotton. How are you, bud? Actually, over here, the radio announcers bought a Greyhound and they called it Shattered Self. S-H-A-T-T-E-R-E-D, Self. So when it's running around the track and the commentator's getting into it, um, it sounded like Kid Itself. And I think Shattered Self and You Idiot had an um, exhibition race at Cannington because I was there. The small world, Jason. And I know that last name. Weren't there, isn't there in New South Wales, trainers with that name or not? Oh, it's quiet off there. I'm a bit disappointed. A bit gutted. And on the footy show, they used to say, run, you idiot. Hey, Kev, how are you, bud? <laughs> Something like that. All right, so the, um, I'm going to have to just swap the uh, microphones over in a minute, Famo. Give me a second. Hey Mancubus, how are you bud? Oh, just a couple of fish, it's been a quiet old night. That's right, the Trevor Barker Foundation. On you Kev. It's been a very quiet old night fam, this beach is so fished out. But that's alright, we're still here and we're having a good time. That's a good fish. Yep, good head shakes, fam. What is this? I'm gonna just be very gentle with it. It's hit that big herring bait. We've got good head shakes, fam. Good head shakes, what is it? Rightio, come on. All right, famo, good fish. Good fish. Good head shakes. What the hell is that? 
a big weirra. <laughs> How are you, little fella? Or not so little fella? These things have got savage spikes on the side. I thought it was a bit bigger than that. This is a very pregnant Western Wirra. Back it goes. Right, they're just starting to come on. Great, I'm fishing in the maternity ward. Like that herring, don't they, eh? I thought that was a slightly bigger snapper. Righty, away we go again. We're near reef when we catch them. Oh, it is Jason. <laughs> Jens, how are you? <laughs> hey, conduct, how are you, bud? Excellent, Jens, welcome. Or Jens, as they say in Sweden, Jens. Hello, this is Jens. His favourite sport is early. Yeah, with the big belly on that one, that was a pregnant female. They need to go straight back. That's nice. Oh, I'll tell you what, it helps having a few litres of water. Thanks, Kevy. Thanks, mate. How are you, Conduct? Good to see you too, bud. How's life treating you, mate? My first stream in about oh, six weeks, five weeks probably. Great. Come on. Oh, that was a bite, fam. Right, the fish are coming on the bite. Awesome. Good work. Good work. Let's get a bait out there. Okay, bait's gone. Whew. Give me a second, let's bait up. It was the white bait again there, mate. Yeah, something like that, Jason, but where we're fishing is a bit of reef. I'm casting into all different spots, okay, so hoping that I can cast close to a little section of reef that'll have um, something around it. 
This is a very fished out beach here, right? So, yeah, any slight advantage helps. We don't have the quantity of fish that they have over east, mate, you know? Right, so, the second microphone still has some. This one here, nice. All right, so this one's flat, which is okay. Let's take that off there. We'll put that in there now. And we'll go down to one microphone. Better. So why is that lower? Boom. Yeah? Yeah, it is, mate. You've got to always keep your options open, you know? What I might do, Samo, I'm just going to go and get my other road mic out. grind Sam, but you've got to put in the time, you know? Oh, that's right, we'll get it sorted now. This one should be better, yeah or not? No? What about what about that? No? Let it scratch. What about that? No? Better? Come on. Louder. Okay, we'll try that, yeah? What about that? No? Yet, with that, that's at full, isn't it? So, there might be something wrong with this. Let's have a look. So... What I might do is borrow one of these. Oh, that might have a bit to do with it. Look at the color of that jack there. That's terrible leak. I'll get one of these little fur balls. Now these are different. Please. Focus. Oh, I think I just leave it like that. 
Okay, is that better? Hey, Irish gamer, how are you, bud? Yeah, you had your problems with your other username, didn't you? All right, that's better. Better, but we're static. Oh, great. Okay. That's absolutely worn out. Just going to go and get a new microphone jack, fam. I'll be back in a second. Cheesebergs, how are you, bud? Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Kevin. That one's well and truly had the pork. Yes, we know. Don't worry, we know. Yeah, I think the jack had finally worn out on that one. Hey, yeah, thanks, Jason. Hey, Mick, how are you, bud? Oh, really? Yeah, you've got to always have you. You've always got to double up on your um. Gear, fam. You know, something happens. You need to have a backup. Yeah, it's not too bad, Jace. Right, so glad I bought these. Let's just test this out now. Is that better? Yeah, it was the jack. It's finally worn out, fam. 2,000 hours of streaming at least. Big guy C, how are you, bud? Tree, what's going on? Haven't you, Jason? Come over here and improve the greyhound scene, mate. They need it. Not the best. Salt. Yeah, well, that's right. Salt kills everything, fam. Even your fishing reels. Salt and light are the two biggest killers of equipment. And heat. Salt, heat, and light, you know? Oh, it's just nice to be on the beach. Now, I'm going to have to put this on my shoulder. Hang on. Right. There's the white. <laughs> Hang on.
Okay, that's on my shoulder now. So that should go okay there. Should be able to hear me front, back, the whole lot. Just let me know how that goes when I turn around to read chat, okay? Well, there's that bite. There's that bite, fam, as soon as it hit the water. As I chew another insect, hang on. As soon as that hit the water, that hit that bait then. I'll say one thing about these Japanese reels, they're very, very smooth. Now that's very interesting. That hit the squid that time. Okay, well let's go again. Just give me a second, Famo. See, that's the thing at night when you cast, you don't really have an idea of where you're casting. Hang on, bites. No reef. No bites. We did reach reef that time, so. Bugger, we did reach reef. <laughs> That's right. All right, so the audio is good. That's better, I think. Yes. That's right. Nice. Hey, Gucci, oh brother. Dobro vechit, Brachko. How are you going? Culpable. Please give Gucci O oh, a shout out. My favorite streamer from Poland. Edgar, how are you, bud? Where's that album? I've been waiting for three years. You're nothing. <laughs> Brother Guccio, how are you, my friend? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, thank you, Gucci. Oh, hang on. You might have to do the whole shout out, Culp. Jason, there is, but a bit further out, bud. Um, today, there are a couple of crayfish pot floats out the back here and also at the back here. So, um, there are. Uh, with the crayfish here in Western Australia, they don't seem to go into the pots too well. The mast craze down south, I've seen mast craze as big as that esky, you know. Brother Guccio, great to see you in here, my friend. Now, is this a cuttlefish? What is it? Hang on. Nah, let go. Yeah, it was a cutly, I think. Let go just as we got to shore. I can see a few boats out there fishing. Right, let's start really burling up now. Hang on, fam. KH fly tying, how are you bud? Hey B30, how are you bud? Oh, uh, that's right Jason, but here is a bit different mate, you know? I've caught leopard sharks from this spot. I've caught lots of different fish from here. You know, we just use the same rig to catch a variety of fish, you know? That one just went, come on. You know you want to. Oh, every time. Hey, Jess, how are you? Good, mate. Hey, Savannah, how you going, bud? Yeah, Jason, last time we were here, we got a 50 centimetre snapper. That was during the day. I have no idea why people drive so quickly along the beach, fam. Absolutely flying, that was. Mate, you're going to go around the point there. <laughs> 
15 centimetres of snow, wow. Yeah, thanks, Jase. Oh, we let it go as well. That I, I think I had it out of the water for about, oh, probably about not even 30 seconds, which was a bit much, but we got it back. Swam off really well. We got smoked by a much bigger fish, though, and they hit the small baits. Even when we had the boat that we were sponsored with, um, we got a couple of really good snapper and they hit the small baits as well, you know. It's going to be interesting getting Wi-Fi on the water. That is going to be a challenge, but we're up for it. Hang on, hang on. There's movement at the station. Yes, beautiful. That was a good hit, fam. I don't know what this is though. I think it got off though, the bugger. That was a snapper, I think. I don't know if we've still got anything on here. Let's have a look. This might be another little wirra if it's still on there, but I doubt it. That was a huge hit, famo. That wasn't a wirra, that was an absolute belter. Shark. That was a gummy, fam. Ooh, that was a gummy. Hang on. Rightio, the fish are coming in, we're not going anywhere. I'm going to put this same piece. Didn't quite have enough drag on there. Let's go. Same spot again, I think. Hang on. That was a good hit. There was a lot of weight to that fish. It was just nibble, 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 and then it hit it. I thought I set the hook, but it spat it. That could have even been a mulloway, damn it. It's back. Oh, come on. When I set the drag, sorry, when I set the hook, the drag let go a bit and it dropped it. Right, that hit as well. I think we're going to be heading for some action soon, famo. Keep an eye on that rod, because it could well end up in the water. Yeah, it actually dropped the hook straight away. Oh, come on. I might keep this other one out of the water till we see if that fish comes back. Alright, the tide's just starting to come up now, fam. 
It's a bit late. Must have clocked on for night shift. Hang on a second. Can you see the spray coming up off the ocean? Oh really? No, I don't think, oh hang on, seven gillers, is that grey nurse? Hey Frankie, what's going on? <laughs> Caleb, how are you bud? Legend, seven gillers, yeah I thought that was another name for grey nurse, no? The gummy shark or the school sharks, there's a lot of them around. Caleb, how are you, sunshine? Right, it's back. It's back. Gonna tighten the drag up this time, let's go. It's back. Come on. What happened there? Very strange. Oh, this feels like a cuddly or an oki. No, what is it? Oh, it's let go. Bugger. That's probably why it let go. Yeah, cuttlefish. I don't want to put a stinger hook on that to get the cuttlefish, even though they are awesome bait. Rightio, now the waves are starting to come in. Right, let's go again. Yeah, that little siloom stick shifted up the line. Let's go again. Radio fam, we're having a good night. Working from home, excellent. Thank you very much to everyone that's given up their time to watch fam. Greatly appreciated. Bertie, how are you bud? Sure am. I'm running two platforms at the same time, mate. 
So people, if I can ask 23 degrees Fahrenheit, isn't that like minus four? If I can please ask people a favor, can you just go across? Right, and if you want to support the stream, come in and watch it, right? If I can just ask you all. Miho, how are you, bud? Oh yeah, it is, mate. Right, if, can I please ask you to all go across to... <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised, mate. It's the most popular sport on the planet. Minus five. Wow, Caleb, stuff that. You need to come to Australia so I can marry you off. I'll keep telling you that, sunshine. You're just in denial. Um, yeah, people, if you could please go across and... Um... <laughs> Um, if you can please go across and just subscribe for free on YouTube, and I'd really appreciate it if you all click the like icon on the YouTube stream for me, please. Okay? That would be greatly appreciated, okay? I don't ask for much, but like I said, the way you support is watch it. There are fish coming in out there, I can, I can sense it. Right, we'll give it another half hour. When we put that burly out, fish came in. You need anything you can get, Famo. All good fun, fam. Thank you, Jason. I really appreciate it. Hey, Table, how are you, mate? Welcome, bud. Thanks, Jason. We just try and, you know, we don't go and chase um, fish just for views, mate. We just fish do our um, normal fishing and you know we don't really we're not measured by how many fish we catch you know we like to teach on the stream and we like to always promote bag limits and minimum legal sizes All right, we're on. We're on then. Oh, that was a good bite. Missed it. Oh, we're back again. Strange, they're all coming in around midnight. Yeah, good mate, yourself. All right, the tide's just coming in now, Famo. It's a bit late. My impression, it was meant to be here about quarter past 10. It's now 20 to 12. That herring bait's going off, so just hang on a second. We could be on in a second. Oh, that's right, Jason. <laughs> Something like that, Golda. Yeah, that's right, we are, mate. 
Yeah, and fish are far too precious to only catch once, mate, you know? Um, the funny thing is, I mean, some of the hate that we've had for letting go legal-sized Western Australian Jewfish and also legal-sized snapper has just been horrendous, you know what I mean? Um, just very disappointing that people actually took that view, you know? So, um... The other thing is, too, we've caught and released... I think we caught and released over... I think it was about 70 brim during the spring brim season. The best stream we had, we caught and released 12 and we dropped about another 15. And uh, they range from about 30 to, I think the biggest one was 46 or 47. And just the hate, people going, oh, why don't you eat them? And it's quite simple, they're such a slow growing fish, you know? Brim and snapper are two of the most susceptible species to overfishing fam. It's horrendous, you know? I mean, Walpole, you go to Walpole, when the snapper are in, you'll catch and release 100 fish in the morning. You know? And then people go, oh, I can't tell the difference between a snapper and a brim. Well, here's a fine, learn. You know? No, we don't. People. Jamie, how are you, mate? Thanks, buddy. Oh, Sydney, yeah, very overfished over there from what I've heard. Um, they, do have, um, they do have a fairly active um, involvement here. Uh, the Blackwood River, for example, I think it was in <coughs> the late 90s. One spring, no, one autumn, they fertilised or put something on the um, grounds, on the paddocks. The first rains washed it into the rivers and it killed all the phytoplankton. So all the brim that were like post egg and sort of larval stage had nothing to feed on. So what happened was, um, might have even been to do with the blue gums, I think. So what happened was Fremantle TAFE had to come down and catch brim and take them back to Perth and breed them and let them go. That's why you have so many um, black brim in the Blackwood River that are between about 40 and 45 centimetres from that breeding cycle. But the juveniles have started coming back, you know? I mean, one stream we caught and released over, what was it? Oh. Yeah, one stream we caught and released easy, 60 brim, you know? And for the 60 that we released, there's 6,000 that get kept. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of brim fishing this year in the winter, fam. How are you, Godless? Laser, good to see everyone. And you've got to remember too, famo. Um, and Jason, see, I was born in the 70s, mate. Well, actually 1970, right? And... Um, Z and T, how are you, mate? And I was born in 1970, so in those days, they kept everything from that big to that big, right? So that attitude from the late 60s into the 70s ruined it for the 80s, and then in turn ruined it for the 90s and the 2000s. There has been a bit of a reversal in the last few years, but unfortunately, you know, with social media, we practice catch and release mainly. I mean, if I get the odd gummy shark, you know, I think I kept one gummy shark out of 1,500 fish last year, right? So, you know, we might get the odd gummy shark that we keep, but it's not a protected species, and there's a lot of them, right? And that gummy shark kept me in flake for, oh, three months, you know? And um, now with social media, you're starting to see a little bit of that <coughs> sort of, like, late, 60s and early 70s mentality 
coming back. Oh, I've caught so many fish. I've caught this big fish and that. No one cares, right? How many did you let go to catch next time? You know what I mean? So anyway, it is what it is, each to their own. But on this channel, we stick to bag limits and we stick to minimum legal sizes, right? Vehemently, so. Like for example, we did a stream last year. We caught quite a few different fish. I kept a salmon and a trevally. Now the salmon are in massive numbers everywhere. And um, you know, that's just how it works, doesn't it? So, and there was an old guy that said he hadn't eaten salmon for a while. So I uh, humanely killed it, gutted it, scaled it for him and even filleted it and put it in a bag, you know? And said, here you go, mate. He goes, oh, thanks. And he was an old guy. So God knows the last time he had fresh fish. In that instance, it's okay. And you know, there's plenty of Australian salmon around, but once again, they have minimum legal sizes and all the rest of it, you know? Oh, nice one. Johnny, how are you, mate? Yeah, I don't know. I miss the fact that I laid him out on the lawn and busted his rib. You know, that was so funny. I said, do you know how to fight? He's going, oh, I watch YouTube videos. I went, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, cheeky bugger. Draco, double Richard. Yeah, Jason, that's a really good idea. I was involved as a volunteer fisheries officer years ago. We did the tailor tagging program down at Floriot and Swanbourne. More so Floriot. Swanbourne's the nudist beach, so you gotta watch your back cast, you know, sorry. <laughs> but um Yeah, more so Floriot. And um I mean Fish do usually come back to the same spot year after year after year, especially like Taylor, for example. So Taylor are known as elf and shad in South Africa and bluefish in America and Europe. And I mean, the mouth of the Donnelly River has had a state record at one stage. I think it was nearly 11 kilos, which is longer than that esky is diagonal, you know what I mean? So... <coughs> and on the esky, I've got the legal limits guide. I've got everything. Right. I've got to do a test next week on a beach not far from Mandra because apparently they've been getting Spanish mackerel out there. So we've got a bit of rain tomorrow. So during the week we'll be heading towards Mandra and I've been told that they've been getting Spaniards at a certain stretch and one of them was about 45 pounds. So hoo -hoo, we want some of that, you know? Because with the Spaniards, they're following the Lewin current down and then, you know, we can do a catch and cook. And one Spanish mackerel like this, oh, that'll keep me in fish for four months, you know? Yeah, they've dropped off again. Oh, here, Jason. G'day James, how are you mate? Oh thanks mate. Jay, how are you mate? G'day geese. Well, Jason, that's good, mate, but stick to your um, like limits and that sort of stuff. James Cod, welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, be quiet tonight. We've only caught a couple of wirras and a little baby stingray. That's about it. So I thought I had something decent before but dropped it. But anyway, that's fishing, you know. Right, I'm going to start burling up, fam. I've got a heap of really old bait in here that I want to get rid of. 
What's in there? They muleys. Woohoo! Yeah! Now we're talking. Let's just leave that there. Yeah, this is old. See the gringo? I was watching an old uh, western movie the other day. Very funny. Right, let me just... Uh, what's in here? Let's have a look. Ooh. They're terrible. All right, what have we got here? Oh, dis disgusting. Ugh. Bit of squidly diddly. I'm just gonna burly up pretty heavy, fam, and hope that there's something out there, you know? When we would fish the Swan River in Perth, we'd get a block of muleys and cut them about a centimetre wide and throw them over the edge of the boat. And when we caught the mull away, they'd spew out all these muleys. It works. <sighs> all right, what do we got here? Let's clear out this bait. Man, it's terrible. Oh, prawns! Yeah. Oh, Whoa. that's a bit lethal. Oh, there's a mullet in here. Let's get out there. They're going to float off, right? Then they're going to thaw out and sink. Oh, gotta love old squid that's zoned with ink. Hooey! Right, I'm gonna keep that mullet down there. That's a herring, I think. Yep, that's gonna stay. Let's have a look here. Just give me a second, chat. I'm just gonna go through. Oh, freezer burn and everything. Terrible. All right, well, this is good. Before my pants drop. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put all this bait in this bag. That way it doesn't flow off. That's a bait and a half, isn't it? What's in there? See, that's the thing, Famo. You'd be amazed what you accumulate in your freezer and as soon as it gets a bit of freezer burn it's no good hang on a second just give me a second we're gonna really burly up and then I might change to white bait good oh that's not a bad packet of squid that's unopened I'll keep that oh that's the next one to go let's just that smell's killing me. Oh, it is, James. That's right. Only fish for yourself. Well done, Jason. That's really good, mate. G-Dog, how are you, bud? Nice to see some legends from Mod City in here. No, we don't have anything like that. Ha ha ha! Vixen's naughty. Hello, stranger. 
Well done, Jason. I admire the fact that you stick to your bag limits, mate. Vixens, welcome, mate. How are you, stranger? Hope everyone's good at home. Oh, God. What's this? They're terrible. Oh, don't you just love opening old bait packets with your teeth? Oh, that's disgusting. I've had worse things in my mouth, though. That is horrible bait. Rightio, let's burly up quite hard, fam. And see if we can bring something in, eh? That was not ideal. What the hell happened there? That'll come back in. I'm not gonna swim out there. I've put that much burly in there, I'm not surprised I haven't seen a fin yet. Oh, there it is, it's coming in the shore. Good work. It's not too far off. Oh, I hate that. What have we got here? More herring, we're gonna keep that. Half a mullet. Oh. Will come in. Hang on, Fabo. I think I would have dumped about 10 kilos of bait. Not oh, more squid. What? Hang on, Famo. Sorry about this chat. Oh, tentacles. Off you go. Right, I'm just going to put a fresh bait on in a second before my pants fall down. Sorry chat, just give me a second. Or three. That's over there. Alright, so I've got the mullet left, which are a good bait. And that. What's in here? Oh, they're not bad, muleys. More herring out oh, there it is. Right, sorry about that. Miss Jilly, how are you, mate? Oh, you're a streamer now. We'll have a look at that. Hi, Mad Beastie. Yeah, just a few uh, small fish, mate. Nothing too big. Excuse me for a second, fam. Oh, 
which is this got left in it. Let's have a look. Three, that's good. That's good. So that's full good. Oh. Hey Thunder, how are you bud? What? Oh, nice one, James. Well done. Ah, uh, probably Miss Chili, but I don't have crab pots. It wasn't that rank. It was just a bit, you know, a bit freezer-like a uh, bird. Definitely been hit. Oh, that's definitely been hit. Excuse me for a second, chat. I'm just going to do another fresh bait. I've just burlied up with muley. Okay, so in Western Australia, we do what's known as gangs, right? So hooks don't hang out on a street corner, then try and kick the life out of you, okay? So what we do is we join... Oh, that's the wrong hooks. That's 4200D Juritons. Hang on, famo. Let me just have a quick look. Right, give me a second. I can't believe I forgot my other bag. No. Jewel Snells. What about in here? No, because I shifted him into the other bag. Oh, well, we're not using... Oh, we could do. Hang on. Yeah, let's just do a slightly larger piece. How did that get in there? That's how. Come on, get out. How did that get in? Oh, better. Now, with all that bait out there, fam, I'm hoping that something hits this. And yes, we did chum hard. <sighs> all right, five past 12, lovely. Excuse me for a second. Very strange, it felt like something was on there. Oh, 
All right, so quite soon that uh, frozen fish that we threw out should start thawing out. Once it starts thawing out, then we can. Um, oh, where's that other one? There it is. We can start. Um, well, hopefully, getting some fish. Really, <laughs> that's what we're about. Let's give them a couple of white bait. We've got this little lump of wood here. It acts as a fish pacifier and also a cutting board to protect the esky. Now, that esky, as you see it, fam, is 30 years old. Rightio, just give me a second. Going to see if we can get a little fish with this. Still going. Lovely. The other good thing about using a single hook rig like that is if you get a small whiting or a herring, you can cast it out as a live bait and your rig's ready to go. Hmm, strange. I think we've got cuttlefish out there tonight, fam. Rightio, let's go back to chat. I'm very sorry about ignoring chat there. <laughs> oh, nice one. Where, which are you, South or North Island, James? Kiora, bro. Auckland, okay. So you're Auckland south of the North Island? <laughs> How's your night going, Miss Jilly? Are you well? I think that's dead as attack now, isn't it? Yes, for sure. That's better than charge than you. Sixty-one percent. What's that in the water over there? I could have sworn I saw something glisten and try and go out of the water there, Ben.
Come on. Usually that shimmering's a cuttlefish, Famo. That's a bite. Come on in again. No, bugger. Too far back on that. Come on, hit again. Come on. That's a bite. Come on. I don't know how big this fish is. It's not even really registering on the rod tip. Now that's going off. Come on, that's a skippy. Come on, come back again. That was definitely a Trevally fam. Has that taken the bait or what? Oh, bugger! Bugger! Bugger. No. Hang on. That felt like a Trevally fight. Oh, come on again. I think the saying for this fish is, I used to be really unsure, now I just don't know. No. Righty, uh, let's rebate. Now that's very interesting, it hit the white bait repeatedly, so let's go again, eh? I think it had a bit of a go at the squid as well. Yes, yeah, so that was the white bait that was hitting Famo. That's exactly what we want it to do. So just excuse me for not reading chat for a minute. I thought after all that burling up we did that we'd actually get a decent fish, but obviously not. We'll give it another 20 minutes though. Same spot again. Rightio, yeah, just I'm gonna come right back here now, fam. All right. Madoki, how are you, bud? Right, let's have a look. Oh, 
All right. Oh dear. Freaks, how are you? Thanks, Madoki. How are you, bud? <laughs> hey, freaks don't sleep. How are you, bud? Nice to see someone in from Pugzilla's community. He's a legend. <laughs> oh, look. Billy, how are you, mate? It could be just a very small fish. So, I don't know what it is. Looks like something's biting it now. There's a fish just down here on the edge of the water, fam. What the hell's that? Let me just check the bait, okay? Hang on. All right, so that bait did go. Rightio. Well... White bait and fish bait seem to be the flavour of the night, famo. So let's just work with that. All right, just give me a second. Nothing happening on that rod. Right, although that did slacken off a bit. <clears throat> Something's hit that bait and swum towards the shore, fam. So let's just see what's happening there. The thing is too, with Mulloway, like I've been fishing for Mulloway and the reels just started screaming and it's gone on this massive run. They've pulled the bait in and it's perfect. I don't know how they do it. But same old story, fam. Oh, we're doing the yards. That's what you got to do, you know. No, not at all, mate. Kai Hill, how are you, bud? Uh, Godless Aussie, that's not the issue at all. I haven't streamed on YouTube for five weeks. So the way the YouTube algorithm works 
is you need to do something every day. So I've been forgotten about, which is understandable. So once we start putting up daily content again, things go back to normal. We've had over 50 people on the stream on YouTube, so it's not all bad. And YouTube and Facebook are gonna try and take over streaming, mate. You wait and see. I don't know how they'll go though, but. Come on. <sighs> What's happening here? Now, that was a bite. Is that a fish or not? That was a bite, fairway. Come on. There's a little spot out here that must have some fish on it. Oh, come on. It knows I'm after it. Let's have a look. Come on. I can't figure out what it is, Fan. That's better. I think it's a Trevally. Let's see. Come on. Oh. There's that bite, come on again. My reflexes are slowing down, fam, come on. Bait's gone. Wow, 25 past 12. Bait's definitely gone. Rightio. -oh. You know what else it could be? It could also be a little silver brim. In fact, that's a pretty good call. Just excuse me for a second chat. I've got to try and get this fish. I'm going to put a little bit of muley on the single hook. Just going to cut the tail off and see if I can get this fish to hit the single bait. Excuse me, chat. Very sorry. Please don't feel that you're ignored.
And look, I'd like to thank everyone that's watching. I'm having a great time. Like I said, I was in hospital New Year's Day or the day after. Okay. So uh, to be out here is fantastic. Right, let's see if we can pull in a double header. Come on. Still don't know what's happening with that one. Please excuse me chat, sorry about this, hang on. Couple of other people calling it a night. Most of the big fish don't turn up till 2 a.m. anyway. But I don't think we'll be out here that long. I could probably go a slightly heavier weight on that, I think. But anyway, sorry about that, chat. Jensen, how are you, mate? Oh. J June last year, I think. Oh no, I'm heading off soon, Cobb. Thank you very much for the offer. Oh, hey, puppy. All right, we're on. Rightio, thanks, Cobb. How are you going? I'm, I was just about to pack up. I think it's another Wirra, I think. Hey? Oh no, it's like a little. Like a little western rear there, like a little spotted cod. I think this is a stingray. Yeah, it is. Oh, good head shakes though. How you going? Good? Just letting you know I'm like um, streaming on Twitch and YouTube, so oh, okay. watch the swearing. How you going? Anyway, these are good head shakes. That doesn't really feel like a stinger. Hey, mate, how are you? All right? Yes, hey, puppy, how you going? Don't eat that. Oh, that is, hang on, that is the stingray, I think, is it? No? Hey! Watch out, Nana! Oh, you gummy! Beautiful! Oh, did you? That's how it works, isn't it? Actually, no, that's not a gummy, that's a bronzy or gummy? No, that's a little bronzy. I'm going to let that go because they've got to be... Come here. Here, I'll let that go. Yeah, I just barely up really heavy. Come on, don't you bite me. All right. There you go, crew. 
a little bronze whaler. Come here, mate. Back it goes. Well, if that's there, hopefully there's some mulloway chasing it. See you, fella. <laughs> hey, puppy. No, don't go in there, you'll get eaten. My name's Jim, anyway. Hey, Mick, how you going? Hey, Jacob, pleased to meet you, mate. Hello, puppy. What's your name? Beautiful, hey. We're so cl clucky for another dog, man. <laughs> we had to put both ours down. Hello, beautiful. Hey. These are red cloud kelpies. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, All right, so did you get any good fish? Really? Yeah, it's pretty fished out. Especially, yeah, especially post, like, um, you know, especially post um, sort of holidays. First couple of weeks, it takes them ages to come back in. I thought with the tsunami, like the last one we had in 2008, yeah. we'd get more sharks, which we've done with that. Yeah. But I still don't reckon they've come in too much, you know. Yeah, right. So, yeah, but that's a good size schoolie. Normally with the bronzies, they got the dots on the back. I think that was, a, and the little nick in it, I think that was a little bronzy. So, yeah, but anyway. Oh. How far up? Just here, just up here, there's a reef just here. Yeah, yeah, there's one there and there's one here. I'm fishing in the gap because if I get too close, I've been like smoked. Yeah. But that's the first decent one I've caught on there in a while. You know, and usually if the sharks are in like that, the snapper just, you know what I mean? Because I've caught plenty of snapper with chunks out the back of them, mate. Hey, no, 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 you be careful, you know. Yeah, they don't discriminate the old sharks, do they? You know? Oh, I've got a big head, isn't it? Oh, no, nah, thanks, mate. But I, I just emptied out a heap of bait. And all I'm using is just herring, mate. Herring catches everything. You know? Yeah, Jewies, yeah. snapper. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, all good fun. I'll put another little bit out and see how we go. But I'm not going to keep a bronzy that size because by the time you get the ammonia out of them and that sort of stuff, if it was a gummy different story but you know if there's a little bronzy out there i reckon about usually along this stretch about 2 to 3 30 a.m everything comes in if you can stay up that long you know so uh, <laughs> see ya yeah no worries thank you very much for the offer how long ago before did they catch that snapper five days yeah this is the time of year they come in, but when I got here, I couldn't get like close enough to it. There are other people down there, but that's all right. Next time, mate, there's always next time. You let it go today, you catch it next week, you know? Yeah. Let's get this air time. Still going. <laughs> all right. See ya, thanks, fellas. Stay safe, watch them. A few of them were belting down here flat out. Probably drunk and wiped out, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they got close to the jemmy. It was a bit of a worry, you know. <laughs> See ya. Thanks. Oh. All right. So, hey, Sandra. Culpable. No, nah, that was a uh, bronzy, I think, Culp. Um, with the fish close to shore, what they'll do is they'll chase, um, oh, your audio desync, oh, okay, bugger. Uh, what they'll do, oh, that's why, hang on. Yeah, what they'll do is they'll just chase anything. Um, a lot of smaller fish will come in and obviously the big fish chase it. But we did burly up before with a lot of, uh, assorted bait and that's why that little shark came in. But, um... Yeah, the next time we come down, we are going to fish this little reef over here. When we came down today, I had people there, so I couldn't fish it, but that's all right. You know, you don't always get what you want, you know what I mean? And once again, fam, you know, thanks fellas. We fished pretty hard tonight. Um, 
I mean, the next time we come down, we'll fish that reef. But like that gentleman said, they got a metre snapper. Thanks to the 10 people that are still watching on YouTube. See what I mean? As soon as I turned them back, the rod went off. When that was fighting, it fought like a stingray, but fortunately it wasn't, you know? That may have been the fish that I dropped before too. I've still got a lot of weight to lose. Damn it. Hey, what happened to the audio? That's better. Much better. All right. So we've done not too bad. We got a bronzy. It didn't look like a gummy and it didn't have the dots on the back, you know, so. Righty, I'm going to try and cast at that reef now. Yeah. <laughs> Is the audio still good? Let's try. Yeah, it's, re it's really out on YouTube. I need to fix that. Oh, it's the sink, is it? Bugger. Oh, it's the sink, is it? Bugger. Uh, can everybody on YouTube... Gary Cook, how are you, bud? Yeah, Gary, we just caught a uh, little bronze whaler, mate. And we let that go. It was only about, oh, I don't know, probably about a metre long. We let that go. And uh, just waiting for the next fish. How are you, Gary? Can I get everybody... Um... <laughs> Chuffy, how are you, bud? Still good to see you still blazing, son. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, tell me about it, Gary. I turned around. A couple of uh, gentlemen offered me, um, like, bait. And they went, oh, your rod's going off. And went, ah, you know. As soon as I turn my back on it, it goes mental. As I just said. Uh, oh. We got a fish on, I think, fam. What happened there? It came back for a hit then. Yep, 
totally clean hooks. Totally clean hooks. And see, I told you the little red silome stick worked. It's still going strong. Doing it large, doing it large. Jeep as it bent the swivel, that's tough. Let's go again. Have we got a fish on? I think we've got something. Let's have a look. No, got off whatever it was. It might have been another cuttlefish, I think. Good hit. Radio. Good fun. Got out of the house. Got a few fish. Got a little shark. Just getting back into the groove, famo for when we hit the serious stuff in a couple of weeks. There we go, herring catches everything. Gary, Random Gaming, how are you mate? Has the audio improved fam or not? Thanks for coming in Gary, hope you're having a good night mate. All right, let's have a look. All you can do is wait, famo, that's what you gotta do. 
We don't fish for large sharks and that sort of stuff on this channel. I usually like to fish for stuff we can eat. I don't see the point in the other side of it. Okay, the big rod on the right starting to move. I look 25, stone. Thanks, pugs. Mate, I wish I was 25. Oh, if I knew then what I knew now. Tell ya. Probably another big cuttlefish fam, oh who knows. Oh wow, it's 10 to 1 famo. 10 to 1, wow. Hmm, give me a second. The thing is, okay, I don't want to wind up the stream and turn everything off because that's when the fish will hit, you know? So let's have another cast, right, and then we'll work from there. All right, white bait gone again. White bait of the trick, fam, I'm telling you. Next time we come to this spot, we're gonna try and fish this big reef over here. I couldn't get here today because there were people here and I don't like just uh, intruding on people's space, you know. Hey Hugs, how are you bud? Welcome to the stream. Don't know why the audio's off. Let me just check this for a second. Let's try it. Hugs, welcome bud.
Johnny, how are you, mate? Yeah, we thank you, all right? Um, we got a little stingray, a couple of good sized wirra, and we got a little, uh, probably a metre long bronze whaler. Would have been an easy, a very small shark. Just going to give it another 10 minutes and then we're going to call it a night. Just good to get back into the groove of streaming again, you know, after a long layoff. Bada bing. But it's the same old story with fishing. If you have a rough knowledge of your area and you know what fish species are here, you can try and target them. I mean, um, like I said, I did want to fish either there or there today, but you know, there's people here, they're in the spot first. You just can't impose your will upon people, you know? So I just fished in the middle, you know, wait and see. And I mean, we've caught fish Straight after we put out, all right. The burly pot is empty, fam. We probably would have got about, I don't know, four or five kilos of fillets off that shark if we had kept it, but let it live and come back bigger. Just got to wait for the next one now. Uh, that's my choice. So yeah, I'm coming back for free. That was a good, solid hookup on that shark. I was very happy with that. Vid Sorrenti, uh, who's passed on now, bless his soul, was an Australian comedian. And one of his jokes was Australians invented the word shark. They went out for a swim, they saw the fin and they went, shit, you know, fuck. Shark. So yeah, very good, very funny man. Swing, how are you, bud? Thanks, mate. We hope so. Gary, you're still in chat, buddy. Now what's happening there? <laughs> People. Oh, it's all right, mate. It's not even worth... Uh, I was previously partnered, and uh, I have my reasons for leaving. I'm going to explain in a stream anyway. So, Captain Rob's Adventures, how are you, bud? Now, people, can I ask a favour? Actually, I'll do it. This gentleman is a very... Um, valued member of the Relic Army 
and you can see it in how he does things. You know, very class act, good fella. So, can I ask a favour? Everyone that's in the sh chat, right? Go and give Captain Rob's adventures. Who? What? I can't do a shout out. Oh, I'm not affiliated. Culpable, can you do a shout out for Captain Rob's adventures? I just tried to do it. Culpable, can you, um, yeah, when you get a chance? Oh, Captain Rob's a legend. Thank you, Culpable. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. Captain is very good. Camo, welcome to the stream, bud. How are you, matey? You having a good day? MXR, how are you, bud? Welcome, matey. Yeah, not too bad, thanks, Camo. How long have we been going on here? Everybody's gone quiet in the YouTube stream, wow. Yeah, MXT, we did, mate. Um, we got uh, a one metre long bronzy. And uh, we did quite well. We got a couple of... Um, we got a couple of um, wirrors and we got a little juvenile stingray. I think it's all over by the shouting now, so let me just have a look here for a second. Hello, Mazzy. How are you, stranger? Godless Aussie. Thanks, mate. You have a good night. Yeah, I don't know what the story is, Cash Swing. It just, um, yeah, it's out. I've refreshed, I've done everything, mate. I have no idea while it's doing it. Triple three, how are you, mate? Ramor, welcome.
How are you, Fishing Eddie? Yeah, I'm going to have to stream to either platform, fam. Look, people, can I ask a favour? I don't ask for much, but... Can I please ask everyone that's in the stream to just go and subscribe on YouTube for free? Culpable's in there. Yeah, good culpable. All right, famo. Well, looks like our night's done, I think. High tide has been and gone. Aww. One a.m. in the morning, time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Nice way to end the day. Long haired Duke, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. Hey, Saf Surge. Pack, how are you? Duke, what are you doing, mate? How many steps? I can't remember how many. Oh, it's after. It's after one, it's after midnight, so I'm up to 1,434 after midnight. I've done that in an hour. I need to put a bell on that fishing rod, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. I had long hair once. Admittedly, that was a time many moons ago I think I was heading towards 20,000 though I don't think I'll have time to wash the car when I get home tonight that's for sure Cameron how are you bud welcome mate thanks Cam And I really appreciate everybody giving up their time to come in and watch the stream tonight, fam. I know we don't have alerts and that sort of stuff, but look, you know, I personally prefer it. That way we have good, clear content. I'll figure out what's happening with the audio. Cameron, thanks, mate. Farm, how are you, bud? Western Australia. Interesting. How are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Ganjin, thanks, bud. Oh, you're welcome, Cameron. Thank you very much for giving up your time to come in and watch, mate. This is what we're about. We're not here for views and clicks and that sort of stuff, fam. We're not here to, like, talk it up and, you know, turn it into a, uh, you know what, measuring competition. We're all about interaction with the community, interaction with nature, you know what I mean? I've showed everyone a few rigs tonight and showed them that they work, so people have learnt something. You know, everyone's happy, I'm happy, it's great. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for giving up your time to come in and watch, you know? I've been messaged by heaps of people saying, oh, we want to support you and that, you know, and I appreciate that, but the best way to support the stream is just watch it for now, and then we'll worry about that rubbish another time. But it's always going to be free on Twitch, fam. All right, that's my personal choice. 
Right. Oh, did you? Nice one. You're welcome, mate. And look, we're only doing the basic stuff at the moment. 4 a.m. Oh, are you over east cam, are you? <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's our night, fam. And what a lovely night it is. No alcohol, no drugs, good, clean fun, out in nature, taking the four-wheel drive for a hack. Ah! <coughs> Sydney, wow, bugger. Noah, how are you, bud? Yeah, we got a little... Alex, how are you, bud? Dirty old man, 69. <laughs> Mate. Yeah, let's not be silly now. Oh, that's what exactly what it's about, Cameron. And we always fish, catch and release, you know. I could have... Um, I could have kept that shark, but no thanks. In Western Australia... If sharks are more than 70 centimetres between the back of the dorsal fin and the, um, the rear fin, whatever it's called, I can't remember, you can't keep them. They've got to be under 70. I could have kept that, but nah, not interested. Let it swim for another day. The next time we come down here, we'll catch a snapper off this reef here. We'll just make sure that everyone leaves. A meter snapper pulls like a truck, fam. Well, 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 well. No takers on that one. I told you that little siloom stick worked, didn't I? These little one percenters that make all the difference, famo, I'm telling you. <laughs> Tyser, how are you, mate? <laughs> Hooked. Ah, oh, look at you. Well, Cameron, we are going to do a lot of instructional stuff. We would have done a lot more of it, but I ended up in hospital. Um, I had open heart in 2015, and I had a little bit of a problem with an artery at the back of my heart. So to be quite honest with you, I'm just happy to be here. So I live each day as if it's my last, mate, because you don't know when it is, you know? Now, for those of you that are thinking about using siloom sticks, the most popular colour is green. Try and get the red ones. Oh, thank you, Cameron. Likewise to you too, mate. Oh, that's it, MXD, because you never know when your next day is that you're going to go, mate. So, you know, mine's more genetics than anything. Um, I've dropped about 25 pounds since the start of January, but now the hard stuff comes in because I've got to start doing the exercise, you know? In the zipper scar club. Oh yeah, I've got a scar on a leg where I hit my, um, like, uh, front of my, sh like, off side of my shin. But zipper, yeah, the old cabbage patch kid, virtually. And look fam, I appreciate all the comments 
about coming back to Twitch, but I can assure you there's a lot of people that have their nose out of joint with me coming back. A lot of them are other streamers actually, but more about that tomorrow if I wake up. Might make it Sunday morning, eh? Get them. That shark put it. Hey, it's better. Oh, thanks, Cameron. Oh, that's right, Fishing Eddie, but it's pretty funny, mate. Like, I've got a lot of good people that watch out for me on this old platform, right? And I got sent this clip. I mean, I've been gone for seven months, right? And on YouTube, prior to coming back, we had a couple of standout streams where we were running more numbers than most streamers on Twitch. And, you know, we just left it, rudder, rudder, rudder. So I was back for one stream, and I got told that someone, I'm, they, I'm not going to mention the name because it's not worth it, but, you know, oh, yeah, I had a bet he was going to come back. And it's like, wow, I've been gone for seven months, you're still not partnered, and you seem to know best. And the information they give out is by someone that obviously doesn't know how things work, you know. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Mini Blazers, how are you, bud? So, people, what we're going to do... Oh, look at the size of that spider. All right, so what we're going to do... Okay. Is... We're just going to stream. Do it for free on the old platform. Right? And then that way, we're all about the community and the content for real. Right, and I'm very grateful for everyone's interaction, okay, because I didn't think anyone would watch, you know. Now look people, I'm going to sign out for tonight, we've been streaming for six hours. I would like to thank everyone that's on YouTube. Oh, you're welcome Cameron, and we're going to start doing some instructional videos on YouTube, buddy. So look forward to those, mate, and look, if you've got any... Um, Lemon, how are you, mate? And if you've got any questions you want answered, let me know and I'll do a YouTube video for you, pal. No worries, Cameron. We're all about the community here, mate. That's why we stream for free on the old platform, you know? So, um, yeah. If you, want any, like, if you want to know how to snell hooks or do different stuff, just ask, man. That's the purpose for us of streaming. We just like to help people, you know, and show them how to do things, you know? Oh, Cameron, easy, mate. I'll do a little knot tying stream for you. All right, now, people, I'm not going to throw out a raid uh, because I don't really know who to raid, to be quite fair. Um, hmm. Hey, False Town Big Worm, how are you? People, special mention for False Town Big Worm. Gary, how are you, bud? Adrian, excellent. Um, Falls Town, when we were sort of struggling in the early days um, with the streaming, Falls Town helped us out immensely um, in the early days with um, a bit of support. And thank you, Falls Town. Greatly appreciated, mate. If it wasn't for people like you and Culpable and a few others, we wouldn't still be here. To all our friends on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. To all of our friends on the old platform, please subscribe for free on YouTube, okay? I really appreciate the fact that you've given up your valuable time to come in and watch. Stay safe and stay well. Be the best person you can be every day. And when we come back tomorrow morning, if I wake up, because I'm getting old now. I'm 52 now, fam. I'm no spring chicken. It's quarter past one. I'm probably going to get home by two. Ah. So, yeah, maybe not going to do a 5 or 6 a.m. stream. But I will do it 
on um I will do it on um Yeah, Camo, do me a favour, mate. Don't spam emotes, bud. I appreciate the emotes, but just type it in chat, okay? All right, mate. Greatly appreciated, buddy. <laughs> All right, fam. Nah, mate, just a one metre bronzy. I appreciate it, buddy, but, you know. Yeah, you're welcome, Camo. Our community, right, is about everyone. Yeah, just a metre fish, mate. Thanks, crew. Bye for now. You're welcome, Moon Man. Thanks for popping in, famo. All right, remember, this is the only stream on Twitch where it's about you. Never forget that. Oh, shit. Thank you to everyone who watched YouTube as well, okay? Thank you, Weedy. Ronnie, how are you, bud? Good to see you in here, mate. Righto, let's sign out from this beautiful beach in the southwest of Western Australia.